Hi guys. Hey. Hello everyone. First, and there we are. Yes, and first and foremost, uh, just uh, a big shout out to Grandmaster Anna Muzichuk, who was kind enough to play this match against me. You know, Anna Muzichuk is uh, only the fourth woman after Judith Polger, Hampi Kuner, and Haufen to cross the 2600 ELO rating mark. And she also it was a world uh, rapid chess champion in 2016 and a blitz chess champion in 2014 and 2016. So, you know, just your average putzer, right, guys? So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so thank you. Huge shout out to Grandmaster Anna Muzichuk. And it's very good to see you here on my channel. Thank you, and, Nicola. Yeah, also, also yeah. big shout out to Nicola, who is a big uh, chess lover and uh, who uh, likes chess, who likes to improve chess. And I was actually quite surprised when some minutes before the stream, you told me that it's only your 13th match versus yes. uh, strong players. Yeah, so really. Only. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only. <laughs> my lucky 13th, yes. And a huge shout out to WF Maria Melanova, she doesn't need an introduction. She's the legend in the Twitch circles. She goes by the name of Photo Chess. She's a very strong player in her, uh, her own right. And she, this is not the first time she agreed to commentate, for which I'm eternally grateful. Uh, and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, please, we're going to give both, uh, both. It's not like that either one of them need a shout out but just please give her a follow. And looking forward to this match with some trepidation, I have to admit. First, it's an honor to be in the same room with the Grandmaster Anna Muzichuk, much less on the same board. On the other hand, uh, you know, when I look at the commentary, of, uh, when I look at uh, her resume, uh, you know, that's about as a great chess resume as one has possibly can. So, you know, I don't rate my chances as very high, but on the other hand, I'm using uh, Chuck Wepner as my, uh, as my role model in this. Chuck Wepner, for those of you who don't know, is better known as Bayon Bleeder, was somebody who boxed against uh, Muhammad Ali. And he wow. actually managed to knock Ali down. and. If this, that was an adoption boxing match, that would mean that he would have won the match. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, so uh, again, welcome Anna, welcome Maria, and I'm look, I was looking forward to this match, and I did everything I could to improve my chances. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, Nicola, as mm -hmm. usually, uh, prepared thoroughly. Uh, not only he was studying Anna's game games, but he also did a thorough preparation together with Dania Naroditsky. Uh, so how many wow. did you have, Nicola? Uh, Dania and I had the three streams dedicated to preparation for this match, so. And is he going to watch as well? Uh, he promised that he would sh uh, stop by. I think he has another obligation for the, for in Charlotte, but he said he is gonna stop by. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, but that's... I didn't prepare with Dania. <laughs> well, you we don't. Need so to I, I didn't mean to to intimidate you, Anna. But there we go. <laughs> I mean, Maria, you you are not kind enough. <laughs> well, well uh, I'm uh, I'm trying uh, to stay neutral in this match, uh, but it's hard to not to cheer for Nicola. Uh, yeah. He is doing so much work preparing, and I'm always really in a uh, seeing how good he is prepared in in the openings and. Uh, it's just uh, yeah, it's just amazing how much work you do. Uh, Anna, you don't need to prepare against me. I am, a, you know, <laughs> I, I am. A, you're a world champion, and I am a 1900, 1950, whatever my blitz score is. So, uh, and I. Nicola, think... we will know about it after the after the match. <laughs> it's uh, not not good to say it too early. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, Elizabeth Pecht was basically, and she she is very objective in the, these matters. But she basically said the only way to make this match interesting is for you to play blindfold. And I, uh, but uh, you know, so we are not going to do that. But I think objectively, no one, uh, no one. Um, 
not only gives me many chances myself included, but I'll give it a try and let's see what <laughs> happens. And my memory serves me well. I'm actually not as strong as Alexandra Bottas, and you're probably as strong as Grandmaster Eric Hansen. And they played a 60 game series once, and I think it took 60 games for Alexandra to win one, one game or something mm -hmm. along those lines. So objectively, you know, that should put chances into perspective, but I'll give it a try and we'll see what happens. So you are saying it's very likely that we will have a big gamble all on my channel. Oh, yes. And that, that this is incidentally my dare. Uh, my dare is I, if I um, if I get adopted, I, I have currently about two million something uh, Lova coins, which are the currency of uh, Maria's channel. And I basically, my dare is if I lose this match, right after the match, I'm going to do gamble all. And, uh, you know, I will see what happens. My, my, my expectation is that I'm going to end up with a 6 million uh, lava coins because if you <laughs> roll 99 or 100, you triple that. So I think actually my chances of tripling are better than actually surviving. On the other hand, my score in these 12 matches I have played is 11 to 1. I won 11 matches and I lost only one against Amal Hamilton. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I am on this 13 lucky number, yeah? Yes, you're lucky 13. <laughs> hey, Lila, very good to see you. Thank you. And th thank you, Anit, for the cheer. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, for those of you who do not know, there is a, I think there is a match command in my channel. It's basically, uh, it's an adoption match. Uh, the time control is five plus two. Anna needs to win all 10 games. I need to draw one to win the match. And we'll go from there. So, all right. So are we, we are ready. I'm ready. And... Uh, you know, I'm going to start, I, I really don't, unfortunately, Rocky music is uh, copyrighted, so I can't play it, but uh, <laughs> Chuck Wepner was actually a role model for Rocky Balboa, just to, so keep that in your mind. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can actually challenge you on it, because yeah. that's, let's try. yeah, let's see. Okay, here, and let's see, it's an unrated, I'm going, we're going to start white, more, five minutes, two seconds, okay, and that looks fine, I'm sending the challenge now. Thank you, um, and Shy Guy, very greatly appreciate it. Right. Yeah, so guys, you can watch yep. uh, all three of us uh, right. in multi Twitch. Yep. Uh, right. I see your Taking challenge. The so off and after, you yeah, you can remove the headphones. Just so removing it, yeah. Yeah, so you don't hear me. That's the only thing that I'm not sure if I will be able to help you with my commentary. Probably more of distracting you. But just to be to, to have it fair game, uh, you both remove the headphones and your chats uh, can still hear me. That's how we usually do it. Uh, okay, okay, let's try. I, I, I'm not sure, <laughs> but let's try how it works. So, uh, Nicola, let's have a nice match. I am about to accept the challenge. Okay, good luck. Okay, the game started. I'm also going to follow Anna, so we always watch. Uh, so it let's see. Out. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, the board is okay. The board is okay. So yeah, let's play something. And I will also open both. Sicilian today. We'll open both and, channels. Uh, and I heard. Nicola had some preparation, so let's try to play something new. Okay, so we gave it away. So now Anna is going to play something else. Oops, oh no. Uh, by the way, can you hear me just drop? 
a line in the chat. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, fine. I don't hear Maria. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. also good. You guys I don't hear, hear Nicole. Uh, <laughs> so let's, Nicola play. Cannot hear let's play chess. Me. Anna cannot hear me, so that's let's perfect. kind of play and chess. Okay, F3. I'm gonna open both chats so I can. Uh, not the most popular device. in this position. Da 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 bro. <laughs> but a playable one. Okay, so first game Nicola is playing white and they went for play. Sicilian. So that's with he... e5. To be honest, I don't play this classical Sicilian with black. Uh, maybe I just have a few games I've, in the database. I don't know about so the move of three. I've never. I'm not seen so familiar it with the like. But is this is like sort exact of exact theory? But uh, but yeah, Sicilian structures. Uh, they all have well, something in common. So, so let's there, just you play logically. Play yeah, you can. So it it's almost knight dwarf, but not knight dwarf. We don't have the pawn on a6. We have the knight on c6, and that's the difference. Uh, okay, so what's the best way to do it? can read your chat. Uh, if you don't know what to do, it so let's play h6. I mean, not to allow bishop g5, and also in case of g4, g5, I'm already. Bishop is free, and it's logical. Let's play. I mean, guys, one. I hope you don't think that I am Maria, Maybe H6 that was is the sister of Anna. Even no, needed. <laughs> I'm a different Maria. <laughs> That's good. Uh, what to do okay, now? So now? Let's after... develop the pieces. If you don't know what to do, just develop the pieces. <laughs> or castle. That's also an option. And Nicola can. Uh, Wait, is trying to go for the long five. castle. Yeah, Nicola so is over a super gonna be sure. So she is going to attack. Okay. Because if it's okay. gonna be sharp, it means a6 because perhaps knight b5 is coming. Maybe okay, it so was she wants Nicola's to play a6, idea, so a6. B5, then maybe b4, and then when the knight is gone, she can then play a5, a4. So. And now I'm not sure it's actually a good setup because usually, yeah, it should have been with the pawn on h5, not allowing g4. <laughs> but <laughs> well, I can lower on this voice. But the on way my we channel. played it, it's now we have the way it is. Yeah, Anna, yeah. Anna is commentating instead of me. I will not castle. Me. I will not castle. I don't want to be to get mated. So I will so not castle. Actually, yeah, the king on the e8 might be to see what Nicola will do. better defended than on g8. That's if he plays h4, it's still not. Yeah, he did play h4, but g5 is not the threat yet. So she can play b5 uh, before maybe. So what I can do is to try or move the knight over. So knight before idea. Uh, I don't know if it's the correct one. Is this better like this with, uh, with this the funny one? Or I can less? try with some b5, so it's like two um, normal options. To my add, I need the volume boost. Hmm. What's the best? <laughs> let's play nine before. It's more funny, I guess. As usually, all chats are saying different things. Sometimes with Arugs, it's the only ideas. Man. Only a or man managed to D5. adopt Nicola before. Or by the way, the threat is knight takes. The threat was. The threat was. But King B1 was a smart move. So let's get rid of all these arrows. Uh King B1. She can potentially play and King now five. It's a big question. And if oh. a3, then she mm, has that time requires to play d4. Some calculation. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I can lower Anna's voice even more. Maybe I can play d5 and d4, but maybe I can't. Yeah, d5, d4, anyway, I like this it. idea. I'm not sure it works. But let's try it. You never know before you try. <laughs> That's a nice approach. So 
or A3, I'm D4. actually playing it in a bit risky way. Uh, now she so gets a lot, a lot of positional advantage. I think advantage. A3 was critical. Uh, now I have the choice to take with this, with that, or with what. Yeah, hmm. maybe with the knight from F, so that G5 comes without a threat. I really don't know what's the best. Okay, let's first try with this knight and then think after knight d5, if we take with the knight or with the bishop. Lazimi, interesting, interesting. Uh, <laughs> Maybe also point. rook c2, knight d5, rook c2. Yeah, Maybe I like Anna's works. position. Maybe not. Nicola needs to find some counterplay. Now she wants to take on c3. And not in the so he cannot take because of try and calculate 95 rook c2. Yeah, 95 rook c2, I don't like it. Or something of this kind. So now this knight has to be traded, and then it's gonna be a problem. In general, points. I think that no my position is okay. After d5, a3 was critical. So so that means Nicola is c2. not afraid of rook takes c2. Nicola, are you afraid of rook takes c2? Rook c2, Let's knight to f6. Take, 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 and the queen take, is take, hanging. Take, 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 <laughs> Anyway, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Let's just play it. This looks like better for Nicola if she so Oh, she I think just take. queen takes c2 and knight f6. Queen C2 immediately. And this is unpleasant. Yeah. So I have to change my plans quickly. That's what he meant. Just take, quickly. take, and knight f6. And then he takes the queen. I should I should have just and taken knight x5 and my position was okay. Knight d5, bishop moves somewhere, and queen c7. Yeah, she could have taken with knight d5, with bishop d5. Oh. Oh. Hmm. But what that? Why not knight f6? If I just take it. And rook d2, queen e7. Uh -huh. Bishop c5. Ah, bishop c5, and, and he wins this knight. Bishop takes b4 is Nicholas' idea, which is not bad. Uh, so maybe I can and do something else. No, I, I think I can't. So let's just. So he gets a rook and queen two e7. Pieces for and queen. now we think. Uh, what can I do now? Um, bishop b3, bishop b7, bishop a2, and king takes e7 is normal, queen f6, bishop ah, b4, yeah, she queen can, f3. She can save the piece. Uh, and then, 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 then it's also kind of okay, it's... but it's more sharp. Take and she will have. I don't know. Let's equal. play something so that is easier. I know. It's also wrong, that's but a, it's easier. <laughs> that's an exchange up. This is so complicated. This position is crazy. So after bishop e7, bishop e2 can move somewhere. I take on e7. Oh, I, I have only 35 seconds left. Okay, I have to play quicker. <laughs> just, just a wake up call. was just a wake up call. Wow. So Already first game promos, she's having troubles. Primos. I am not an experienced uh, player. So what was that? What was I'm that not sound? so used to all these primos. Huh? So you have two pawns. This can be bad. It's just the question uh, how good it is. Uh, let's ask Nicola, let's play here. Co covering the square. What's the time control? 
Five plus how many? Five plus two. Five plus two. Yeah, Nicola is now Fine. alone. Time. No, I know the time control. Uh, no, this I don't want. So now allow. my bishop to two. Uh, but King e one and I don't two b three. I don't. I have to move something. Square. I'll just move something. But I'm really very slow. <laughs> Uh, bishop d3, not bad. Let's just go. Why, why I'm just playing so passive? I don't bishop like it. Looks... I don't like it. I don't like my passive moves. Some good chances uh, here take for it. Nicola. And now let's jump with the knight. Let's take Maybe this five. one. Maybe h5. Uh, let's go. Just you can bring the rook e one and the four. Uh, let's let's take it. The less pieces, the less problems. Let's play this. I'm not so sure what I'm doing. Uh, so activate the king. Uh, there are quite good chances here for a draw. Maybe rook g one and rook a one. It's not so clear, by the way. Or from that side. I like mean, G7, it's not so clear. A7. Um, it's like very winning. I don't think it's maybe here. Like a very easy in terms of just not rook b7. Winning this position. Fork. Just a sec. Check. 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 And they're both long time, Check. but to d3. Here. To avoid any checks. And then maybe rook g8. Um, Once she starts pushing pawns, that's a trouble. Let's. He needs let's, to stop them from let's moving. Let's not flag. Let's try to move our pawns. Yeah, rook h8 was more precise, not allowing h5. Mm, this is already a very big trouble. Now king f5 or knight f5. All the pawns defended. And now he loses f3 because of king f7 <laughs> or king d7. I was hesitating <laughs> where to move. Uh, let's take it and back. And win this one. And with four pawns, it should be finally clear what to do. Yeah, this is now winning. Yeah, I just have too many of them. Just, just it's a bit too King many three, of them. Three. Okay, let's move back. Yeah, yeah. This uh, is. Let's uh, move forward. This is winning fauna. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Okay, the first the first game was already not easy. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah. I think after night of oh six. my god it, it was yeah I, the first game and it, uh, I was a bit afraid that after the first one we we will already finish the match yeah, yeah. night of six I think you were in big trouble there uh, after uh, after rook c two queen c two knight c two knight of six uh, yeah. this this is what I was worried about instead of knight e seven. Uh, yeah, uh, instead of ah, immediately you mean immediately knight of six because I thought first to take on c two knight c two. Yeah, I think I think it doesn't matter which order knight of six uh, and then it's a piece up. Uh, up yeah, king c two. So I I simply miscalculated the material. I thought it would be like I'm a pawn up, but uh, <laughs> but surprisingly it's, it's a piece down. A piece down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> calculation skills. Ah, I missed knight f6. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Uh, but if I take on d5, I think my position is good. If I yeah, take with it yeah, back with the knight. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. A three were... was essential, and then yeah. B four, and then it's very complicated. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Actually, I think is A three is critical. D four A takes B four D takes E three. I was going to play, and if Queen takes E three, then Queen C seven uh, threatening to take on B four, and maybe Bishop B three, or or I don't know something something unclear. Okay, so basically, of what I needed to. Yeah, I had few chances, and obviously they, you know, time. I need to figure out how to not lose. Um, lot those end games where I have drawn drawing chances against very strong players, but that's uh, that's in the future. It's not going to happen now. But honestly, I'll take this game. Yeah, this... there was some chances for a draw in the end, but very difficult with all the pawns. Yeah. The knight is jumping, yeah, knight is a pleasant yeah. piece. Yeah, that's fine. All right, well, okay. Uh, one nothing, very good. Uh, I'll take this, obviously. So let's... Um, uh, I'm going to send a rematch and disconnect myself. Thank you, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, good warm up. You're right. So I'm waiting for I'm waiting to get a challenge from the next game. The first one was already very difficult, so I don't know. I don't know what will happen in the next round. <laughs> yeah, Maria is in the background and she's commentating this match, so you can actually follow all our channels. I'm trying to say what uh ah okay i i i've got the chance yeah here it is yeah i'm trying to say what what i'm thinking about and maria is commentating and uh, nicola Soshin is also commentating on his channel so oh e5 okay this Some is Italian? exciting joko maybe italian or joko piano what is nicola going to play Knight of six, mm. principle. Knight of six, inviting me for knight g5. Uh, knight. Yeah, knight g5 is d5, right? That. So let, let's play safe. And yeah, if <laughs> I blunder some knight of six ideas, here. better to play safe, I guess. Uh, let's play this one. Then he can play h6 to prevent. Not the most popular one, Bishop but quite g5. playable. I used to play c3 instead of uh, knight c3. So... No, that's not scholar's mate. Scholar's mate is with the queen. Okay. Good sign is that Nikola is thinking. Here, a6 if on she the board. Played knight g5, it's normally d5. Hmm. Ed5, knight a5, and Here's it's very sharp, but so there is no. Thinking which to take. Let's play with no much, Not much advantage for black. Or right. <clears throat> but this is a more common continuation. And 95 is a bit of a threat, so h6 is good. And after bishop h4, uh, yeah, bishop is g5 most probably going to or play knight g5. g5. Bishop g3, d6, and it's unclear because the king still hasn't castled. So uh, let's take, let's. Intimidate <laughs> and uh, let's play something uh, yeah, solid. So she can also no, she cannot take here because of not the, the best opponent. version of this line actually. Yeah, yeah, she can take. Actually, one. it's not the best version I that I got. Take no, this will be bishop of two. It's still very playable, very solid line for white and um, black's position is also. Looking good. So, so far, everything seems to be very normal. Uh, I have played c3 and uh, maybe one day I'll go for d4. You can also go b4. Uh, I told you one, well, maybe one day. Maybe this one day will be now. Or castle. Can be. Uh, let's just try to play quicker than in the previous game because when it gets to that time trouble uh, to the time trouble uh, that's more difficult 
So now the threat is bishop g4 and then putting pressure on d4. That's why I don't want to allow that and I play h3 before. My next moves are, are, are kind of simple. Castling, rook c1. Yeah, Nicole also needs to castle. He can also play knight a5. And I'll to try to away. say that I have a better center. But at the same time, black has to pair bishop advantage. Yeah, Anna is commentating on, on her opinion, own. I'm commentating on, her, on my own. More she cannot hear me. Yeah, so Nicola is now down to three minutes. Castle. Castle. The she can also castle. I'll castle two. The knight on d5 is kind of strong, but yeah, knight e7 is uh, the right way to yes, play I, it. Yes, I am a god. Now I think I have to take because otherwise Nicola may play knight g6 and c6. I'm a photo god. <laughs> and I don't want that. Or, or should I allow that? She can take, take and just bring the rook. Or uh, this may be simple an development rook c1. Let's take it. The less pieces on the board, the easier to play. Let's defend. Maybe I'll push e5 at some moment. So the rook is standing so. well, then knight e5, then maybe some pressure on f7. Okay, the rook from a1 will go to c1. And my queen will move, I'm not sure where, maybe to d2 or d3. That depends how things will develop. Hi, guys. Yeah, I am a com I'm a commentator for this match. You can watch the match on Bishop all three six. channels. I think uh, this is a Me, Nicola, move. and Anna. If I play d5, I open the a7 bishop and I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, Anna is doing such a great job with commentary. It's very hard to, uh, to do anything better. So on my channel, actually, her so sound know. is lowered, but I can still hear her. At the same time, if we trade the pieces, it's also not that great for me. Yeah, if she trades, then he can better take than this opening F this pawn and fight for the monster center. Monster on a7. So just maybe I was yeah. wrong. Maybe d5 was better, but d5, bishop, is, bishop d7, then then what? She can always play d5 uh, later. C6. For example, if now Nicola will not be taking on d5 because it will leave d6 pawn very weak. I can also kind of go back to f1 or to d3. Yeah, Nicola is tough opponent. Should I so try far, he was only adopted not. once in 12 matches. Maybe that makes sense. Let's try to play it. I'm not sure it's good, but I want to keep more pieces on the board uh, because I have to win. <laughs> I don't know how to win all the games. But the idea is to keep more pieces on the board. So Nicola could take on C4 on the previous move, but C6 is not the mistake. C6 is just normal. Uh, Anna cannot hear me, but we are sort of commentating together. That's true. I have so more Nicola time. Nicola has some chances to activate his queen with queen F6. Good news for me that I have more time. Or now I have to keep this rooks. center because I don't think I should move D5 or E5. If I play D5, then Nicola plays Bishop D7. Now just imagine it was my move. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, this was Anna is a great so commentator is as well. going to go for C5. Let's so she kind of naturally does a great job as a commentator. If Nicola plays C5, then I play D5 finally. And the bishop will be blocked on A7. Yeah, the bishop on a7, it's a potential monster, but at the same time, it's currently out of play. 
and black doesn't really know how to poke the center. Maybe d5. Maybe to be honest, I don't see the way to improve my position. Allow queen f6. I'll just defend it. I mean, this pawn. I'll just defend it. And now it's also important not to miss some idea like queen d2, bishop h3. Uh, d5, well, that I will close. And now what's the best way? And now this bishop is sort of um, stuck, but attacking the pawn. In just a second. But yeah, Nicola try can, to checkmate. can bring the queen to I'm the sure that won't work, but yeah, unfortunately. Let's attempt, now she's attempt number H6. two. King g7, okay. Maybe King this H7. one will be given? No. No. No luck. Um, At least she tried. What can I do now? Now I have some kind of a plan like rook e3, knight c6, c1, but it's a bit, a bit long. Too late, too early c5 yet. maybe played from black side. Well, actually, c5 he can prepare with b6, but he needs to make sure that uh, he will be able to push so it. Otherwise, maybe c6 I'll just is gonna get block weak. this c5 idea I was playing before. Maybe f5 just is a possibility. Because when you have two pairs, uh, two bishop pair advantage, you you need to open your bishops. When the bishops are open, they are ah, so Anna is following more some active, battle and they pose problems. So someone someone won in some battle using in order the same threats. Not to in order to stop C5. Just my microphone has a a little uh, robotic echo. This is what That's definitely not F5, from me, I guess. but I can pretend to be Alexa. Quite possible. Hmm. I can play knight h4, but queen e7 will come. Okay, let's pretend I... Vladimir, if you want to I listen to Anna, it's better to go to her channel. Otherwise, it's very difficult for and people can to I listen to us. So she can move the knights to d3 and c5. I don't have much time to think, so let's try to move. Uh, this eight, now four. maybe. This the knight Prevent is coming, the bishop here from coming and there. Queen g5. Am I missing something? I hope not. He needs to activate the bishop somehow. It's very difficult to play now. Okay. I like my knight. I really like my knight. The problem is that even. So, uh, let's Even some do positional like exchange this. sacrifice sure will not work three. here. He uh, that's to go smart, yeah. D4 is weak. Maybe that's one because chance the for him was to very strong. Play. Okay, this I will not give to Nicola. Sorry, Nicola. And this I will not give to you. Uh, this I don't want you queen to D4. see your queen there. Uh, hmm. And rook is seven. And do you want to trade pieces? You want me to, okay? And now Let's this do that. is coming. Maybe king of six to. Ah, uh, I want that. Mm, well, it was not like totally winning after like king of six in the end. Hello. Yeah, maybe king of six was... Yeah, king of six uh, not allowing rook e seven. That's what I said. My last sentence. It's not so clearly. But then you can when double the rooks and... I can bring my king to c3. Uh, like king f3, king e2, king d2, king c3 to free my d3 rook. Then try to double on the e file or something. Or something uh, like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, the computer has a comment that says one 
player took the advantage and never let go. That's exactly how this <laughs> felt. That's harsh. <laughs> and never let go. And never yeah, let the go. The knight on f6 was a monster. Um, yeah, I should have taken that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that computer is gonna. And this is what's very beautiful, and this is why playing against somebody like uh, like uh, Anna is difficult. Uh, I literally have exactly one inaccuracy in the whole game. <laughs> I think D5 was too early. Yeah. I'm um, yeah. I didn't check it was the engine, but it looked like you had to keep the pressure because for me, I also, I, uh, it's like uh, not good to play d5 because I open your a7 bishop and it's not so good to play e5 because uh, once again, yeah. I'm opening the positions. Yeah, I, and I should have played, uh, I should have played c5 and yeah. About c5, I'm not sure, c5, I was going to go for d5. Maybe just prepare d5 with rook d8 first, maybe bishop to b6. Yeah, but then I have a little bit of, uh, instead of bishop e6, I should have played c5. And then after d5, uh, you know, I have, I have b5 and I'm pushing the bishop off. Uh, I think like instead of d5, if you go something like just rook e8, bring the last piece uh, yeah. to an active place, to an active right. square, it's quite okay. All right, guys, uh, let me put it this way. Playing this game, and forgive me, Anna, this is uh, this is actually a huge compliment for you. Play, uh, this is how I felt, uh, and this is on a different level, in my first match against the Dina, because I have a feeling that I was basically, uh, you know, um, I was in a grip of a python that constantly tighten its grip and never let go. That's how this felt, guys. So anyway, <laughs> thank you, Anna. That was, that was very instructive. Yeah. All right. You should also listen to the, to the vote for on, uh, to, to our words later, because Anna is doing such a great commentary. I can also yeah. just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> I will just make this trip for all those three <laughs> <Yeah>. channels. <laughs> Yeah, right. just keeps asking, why can I hear some AI assistance in the background? <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, I missed nice Night of Six, a very simple tactics actually in the previous game. So, yeah. so everything is still possible. All right, well, 2 nothing. I'm sending the rematch. I, am, I need to figure out how I'm going to play this. Um, and uh, let's, I'm sending over the rematch taking the headphones on and wishing myself good luck. Thanks. <laughs> good, <Yeah>. luck. <laughs> good luck. So I see another challenge, the new one. Um, so maybe I shouldn't go for classical variation. Maybe I should try something new. Um, okay, let's try to find something for oh, what Nicola scanty. should not be prepared, I guess. I'm Maybe sure I'm Nicola wrong. prepared some scanty before. Um, and again, okay, I have many games with knight of six, so let's try and queen takes d5. I'm sure Nicola experienced that. Scandi. Uh, but mm, now there are oh, Nicola, yes, other is mainly queen d6 or queen a5. Also queen d8 is possible. Or queen, d8. queen d8 is passive. Let's play queen a5. Wow. Wow, seriously, before? I think the last time yeah, I checked we saw before, this before was like 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I think you play this line with white. Oh, it's a very sharp one. Yep, yep. I have to take before. I'm very excited it's for this It's an interesting opening. move, especially for blitz, but a4. Wasn't Nicola knight looks happy. already won the main move? Okay, a4, I see bishop a3 is coming. He killed Dan with prep and bizarre line. Ah. Uh, let's yeah, not he, he, uh, he, the queen. He a6 really in well order not Dina to allow knight b5 or sometimes knight c6 bishop b5 ideas. So queen d6, a6 is like a typical setup. And this position in this position, I'm not sure Maybe like a6 was the best well move, this. but but it was a useful one. 
Yeah, rook b1 here, here is played, but a5, a4 is also uh, bishop, bishop c4. a3 also well, is played fine. here. So that's what he did. Uh, let's let's develop the pieces. Yeah, yeah, he prepared against Develop Dina the pieces in Scandia, so he has a lot of preparation yes. and it was recent. Develop the pieces. So if Anna watched his previous and matches, uh, she would not have developed the pieces. Uh, my queen on a5 is, yeah, it's safe. It can't be attacked. There are maybe some ideas like with uh, 9b5, 8xb5, 8xb5, and then some move. Bishop g4 the... is classical move here. Bishop, okay, just a second. And he has to play h3, g4 to get rid of the pin. I have problem that if I go e6, then bishop takes f8 and I will lose the opportunity to cast. I don't want that. h3, we don't blunder pieces. g4. He might play g4. My plan is perhaps to cast alone and to hope I will not be mated on b7. <laughs> Good plan, I guess. Uh, but this open, not B lose. Or this open B file is actually bothering me a bit. Yeah, B file open and also. I guess like knight uh, D4 or knight E5 are also. Also, Nicola there. has ideas with bishop so... B5, which is also very sharp. So let's see. A, B, A, B. This is going to be an interesting leaves, game. <laughs> take. Rook is hanging. This all needs calculation and then blitz is really difficult. Me preparing some castle. Before, he might go with for an it. open b5. Oh, g4. Play g4. So maybe next is coming bishop b5. Because if he prepared this, he knows this idea. How should I react to g4? Should I take it? Actually, sacrifice here is also uh, quite. Um, Common because the bishop on c4 is I not defended and g4 fork threat later when the bishop is on g4. So knight g4 is also a move. Let's just go here. And her queen Without is taking ready on to g4 jump into action. Was perhaps better. Yeah, like the bishop. If I had g4, to make a draw, I would just g5. take on g4. But draw is and not just working. enjoy myself. Yeah, knight uh, g4 but, is playing for two. But when you have to results. win all the games, it's better to play safe. Yeah, g5. So Nicholas preparing some bishop d5 or knight d5. But now Let's knight see. h I'm not sure about g5. I don't I like see it so Nicola. Much. He's allowing and a lot Nicola, of counterplay. I am. Um, knight e4 is also Nicola, I, possible. I'm a pawn up, so uh, so what do you think about Trading yeah, some is pieces. Very weak, you're right. I don't mind. Though not, I mean, knight h5 and knight f4 was some other possibility. Now she can castle, and it seems like she's out of another, any maybe even a better one. I don't know. Knight d5. Let's ask. Let's ask this knight. Uh, where is it going to? Maybe even long castle was better. Just slow castle and take on g5 or take on d2. Nicola wants to get abducted. Well, I'm not she's sure. just playing chess. He's doing the best he can. Now it's a big choice. I can take on f8, but I can also try to play really hard to play d5, against bishop g7, rook g8, and maybe this is winning the piece. Rook f8. Ah, she needs to take on d5. Bishop g7, okay, it takes rook g8, the bishop both g7, bishop bishop are... c3, knight c3, d takes c3, d takes c4, rook e1, king f8. Now Anna is pulling Ivanchuk. I cannot follow this. <laughs> Should be okay for me. I mean, rook f8 is just simple. Knight moves somewhere, I take on g5 and it's winning. It takes d5 is more complicated because if I missed something there, after knight g2, which two results? That was and then it's bad. chances <laughs> but for Nicola, but hope. very good drawing chances for Anna. I do hope I don't miss anything. I don't think after knight g4, just... black can play for a win with, with a good play by white. 
I just hope I don't miss anything. <laughs> and maybe this one's quicker. He is not moment. yet a son, but he can become a son. Of our life. Kirug G8, yeah, both bishops are hanging. Uh, it's hard to find what to do here. Bishop b5, so he did play it, but wow. playing it earlier Bishop probably was better. Hmm. So, so if I take 8xb5, 8xb5, and this rook is protected. This rook is protected by this bishop. The di diagonal is too long. Yes. So we take so this, this piece. Work. Bishop c6. We have only one minute left. She has a piece. I mean, it's not the question to you, it's the question to me, but I'm just wondering <laughs> how, how that is possible. Yeah, the question is to Anna, but uh, uh, they're both now I have time. some problem with the king she because now I up. don't want to castle long. At the same time, well, now she can play bishop it's not five. That safe on f8. Well, he still can play d3, but sometimes some little you don't have play. a choice. But she also can lead this later time play piece up. H5. So that uh, kind of compensates. Uh, knight e5. Can't I just take it? Should be okay. Boom. So far, looking quite okay. Uh, I am a piece up and also a pawn up. I have some problems with this, like king and rook here, but rook here may be activated when I move the bishop. And king, king, in case if we go to the end game, the king is perfectly on my feet. <laughs> if a knight is seven, I just play here. And that's it. Yeah, to be honest, Anna I don't has, see the way uh, uh, black uh, white can avoid the queen and trade Nicola is not because happy. Uh, queen g5 is coming with the check and attacking the knight. Also, uh, I promised to play king the seven. And just yeah, the, the knight doesn't no, have any I escapes clear now. So if they queen take, takes, we the take. Knight. Yeah, he is going to resign now. This position is uh, hopeless. Well, playing an end game, being a piece up and also and, and also a little bit more than piece up uh, can be bad. So I can just, uh -huh, okay, I give check, I take this and then bishop h5 and that's it. Just an easy way to do that. Yeah, that was a little bit too wild. It was actually, it was fun while it lasted, but so, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was sharp. I'm not sure, is a4 uh, a move that you usually played in that position? A4. A4 and bishop, a3, how you played against Dina, right? Yes, that's what they can play against It just Dina. looked like Anna defeated all this so easily. Yeah, she did. I'm not a4, sure about a4. a4. Well, the last time I actually checked this line with b4 was uh, ages ago. Uh, but maybe not a4, but maybe something like knight f3 or rook b1. Because with a4, you are kind of losing a tempo. Well, on the next move, you play bishop a3 and uh, you win one tempi because I have to move my queen. But the bishop on a3, I don't know. I still prefer rook b1 and knight f3. I think this setup is. Uh, Posing more problems. Yeah. And then Rook B1 and a... you play like queen d6. Uh, and then, okay, I don't know. Knight f3. And then just def de de developing, and it's uh, Nikolai would be faster on development, right? Well, it's just like uh, white, is, white has three pieces developed and uh, black has zero, plus also the queen on d6. Uh, it's not the safest place, the safest square for the queen. Yeah. I. Um, I... 
the logic before bishop a3 is that it basically you know it uh, pins the bishop on f8 and keeps the mm -hmm. well, usually more often than not keeps king in the center uh, and then there is always this idea of bishop b5 uh you might have had it before yes played i it. i played but it i'm not sure when to play it and yes, Anna could have taken on g4 with the knight. Um, that, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, taking on g4. I mean, and then if queen h5 I... is annoying later. Yeah, but bishop e2, there is always bishop e2. I mean, black always have a, has a draw. So that's uh, like, of course, it yeah. can be bad. It's a good option. But when you have to win, you're not sure if you should yeah. sacrifice or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think g5 was probably, a, I, I think it was all fine until I pushed to g5. Um, you know the maybe even uh, now bishop b5 was working yeah yeah that's actually the best move in here that was definitely an option i i didn't find the right time to play it and um yeah uh, yeah but here already e6 is possible with uh, trade on f8 and it looks like the king can even take and uh, not castle yeah Okay. But yeah, some counterplay for black. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I Bishop mean, if I was scary, actually, yeah, because uh, my plan be uh, before was uh, to castle long, and mm -hmm. after Bishop B5 pin in the knight and then castle long. Okay, Bishop C6, B takes C6. It's all a different story. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Okay. Uh, well, let me put it this way. I tried. Uh, I figured that playing in you know, a Cafe de la Région style was. Uh, probably a good idea so this that's what i tried uh let's um yeah uh, you know if uh yeah if anna is gonna maintain 97 plus percent accuracy i don't uh, this <laughs> yeah she was just called anaconda in her chat yeah and that's perfect yes I, I, anaconda I, anaconda exactly <laughs> yes so, all right, <laughs> very good. Thank you, Anna. Uh, interesting game. I'm going to send the rematch. And, yeah, th uh, thanks for reminding me about the line was before. <laughs> I will check it. <laughs> I, will I will definitely no, check uh, it. The, the safest version of that line and that was showed to me by my dear friend and coach Mark Esserman is to play Rook B1. And, uh, you know, that's actually a better, it's a, that's a better version of that line. Um, but um, I was... I played this uh, against uh, Dina with some success, so I figured I might give it a try. I really wasn't looking forward to get getting strangled one more time for uh, <laughs> like in the, like. Well, in it's just a warm up. That. Yeah. All right. Very good. Sending the rematch. Thank you, Anna. Yeah. Okay. Let's play another one. Hey, Pizza Racer. Thank you for the good best wishes. Very greatly appreciated. All right. I'm sending a rematch. I'm muting myself um, blah, blah, blah. I'm muting myself. Uh, let's try something new in this game because nicola already knows how to how nicola to knows how to play against every opening play, Anna, if I but... play italian ah, okay if i again the board okay but opening let's is not everything what is thing. not that very very popular All right, so yeah, nice to see you. We saw this from I used to play Vienna, well. Vienna, Vienna game when I was a kid. Then I stopped playing it. I don't remember when it was the last time I went. Do you think uh, she'll for drop this an setup. English opening on him? Maybe. Mm, Bishop Safari. Another, I think she another will try everything. possibility to play. Uh, but he did prepare against Vienna. This line Dina. is to go with d5, of course. Uh, now I have to think already because maybe knight g4 is a threat. Well, this is called Mises variation, but maybe I don't want Black to also think if it's a threat or if it's not a threat, so I'll just play g h3. Of the world, <laughs> deep, a very deep preparation. So okay. h3, then so d3, then. You could also castle. Knight somewhere actually where I'm going to put my knight on e2 or f3. This is also the question. Uh, 
Uh, she, she also has an idea of knight a4, um, so maybe a6 is uh, considerable I will move. not play now, it so makes no sense after a h6. It's a different type of position with the bishop on g2 and with the bishop on c4. Yeah, I think for Nicola playing against Anna is it's like for same. many players playing against Magnus, where Why? even if he blunders... Ah, I got, I think I got Nicola's idea. He wants, you are still he wants very me unlikely to move the knight and then he plays that this is a blunder and queen c8, that he not allowing to castle. He's doing something correct. Nicola, so that's, what that's your a very idea? big gap here, was which plays that, in her favor let's even see, if she let's blunders. See if it was Nicola's idea. She's playing like Magnus this game. Well, you can, of course, compare because she is a very strong grandmaster. I don't know what and I'm going to do. she's also very good at blitz. Guess. Maybe I'll play g4, but g4 maybe Why is worth meant blitz by champion? h5. And... Okay, queen c8, g4, h5, g5, then h4. Is there a solid draw opening? With white, for Not sure. Here. I'm not sure, not sure if there is with black. Depends whom you're playing and what Maybe after your queen c8, I'll just make some waiting move. To see if Nicola castles. But playing I for a draw with white kind of is so much against four. chess um, purity that just I don't think to... that Nicola will be really trying to make a draw with white. He will just play chess. He's trying to learn more chess by doing these matches. So because if I play something like I'm a3, sure then maybe knight d4 is coming. Bishop g5 now makes sense. Maybe bishop g5. And I agree that he is very underrated. Move. Trying to also spoil plays that... very differently when he is a different mood and he has a job, very intense job traveling, which can throw him all out of shape and he can lose a lot of rating. By just being not. Uh, you wanna say that I'm thinking alone, yeah? Oh, hey, Anna. Thank you for the sub I on the of, of agree Nicola. with you, but I don't know if I should go with for g4 or for bishop g5. Bishop g5, knight h5, g4, here in the bishop chat. g4, h4, <laughs> queen g4, knight g3, bishop f2. All this calculation really reminds me of my oh, yesterday commentary with Zivanchuk. <laughs> Let's... But she has a simple this bishop g5. Bishop g4 take and, knight. Uh, she, she will be threatening to take the knight and okay. spoil the pawn structure. Okay. 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 One and a half minutes for a3. Also fine. I'll explain you later what I was thinking and <laughs> why. Uh, why it took me so long to take a decision. I was not sure about this. Oops, I cannot do that. Guys, please do shout out to Anna Chess. And that's smart. Let's play Bishop G5. Okay. I like this because you don't want to Just allow these A3, A6. pawns to be doubled. Although you can also prepare knight e7 f5 later. That could be an option. But then you need to be hmm, ready to castle G8. long. Knight G8, I did not expect, but knight G8. I like knight G8. Followed by h6, h6 then and knight e7, not bad. Yeah, knight e7 could be not bad. Five ideas, d5. Uh, let's... Are this or let's go for g4, g4, h5. I don't like it. I think Maria can compete with uh, the most common name in chess. I should play quicker. I know. I know that I just not all of us are streamers, including Anna's sister. F6, even. Okay. Oh, Let's move my this bishop. Finished. Let's pretend I didn't blunder it. Let's pretend. Well, that's what I'm saying. Anna can pretend she did not blunder, and it's very likely that you will believe her because she is so strong. Maybe d4. Very big psychological advantage it's here. Kind of That's a... why Nicola did well, not, not find a threat, but He did not expect it. It's a threat to occupy the center, so Nicola is allowing uh, 
Bishop takes c5, he takes c5. He thinks it's not that dangerous. Maybe he's right. Uh, yeah, but what I, about I if don't I just like take bishop play c5. d4? This bishop should c5 be completely funny. gives away the d4 square. I didn't need a3 for that. But anyway, it was played, so. So. Well, not only really good GM, so she is a world D4. champion. Anna's sister is a world champion. Oh, will I take with the bishop or with the knight or or what will I do? E D four maybe. Maybe I'll take with the knight and I'll try to if she takes with the knight use the fact. This is a bit passive. Uh -huh. I don't have to think what I will do because this because Nicola didn't take on passive. d4. d takes c5, take, take, hmm. bishop f2, king f2. That's becoming Spanish. sharp. She didn't go for it. Make our center stronger. He could consider c5, um, putting some pressure still, on I have d4. to solve this problem with h3 pawn. I don't want to go h4 Yeah, she cannot because castle because h3 is going to be hanging. So maybe she needs to play g4. Bishop g4, and at the same time, I or don't h4. want to go g4. h4 allows bishop g4. Knight g6, knight h4. I like c5 for Nicola. So what am what am I going to do if I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that? Uh, yeah, Maria was classic world champion. Anna was rapid and bliss world champion. I have to take some decision. Belka was crying, but now she is locked away. Let's just play something. Yeah, that's that's a good position for Nicola. Anna does have a weakness on h3, which she needs to take care of. So he has some counterplay. My knight on e2 is C C5. very restricted. I don't like it. Will I go for a long castle? I'm not sure. It's a bit dangerous. But at the same time, I can't castle fort, so <laughs> so that's the problem. Okay, knight, knight g6 on the board. Maybe still h4 Let's is the best. Be oh. Maybe h4. Sharp. Made I like the h4. Maybe f4 is a bit too much. Maybe he can like counterplay with c5 here. I played it and I don't like it. They are both getting low on time now. Let's go this forward. Now it's better. Knight h8 and knight f7, maybe, with the idea to control g5. I think and black should have taken e5. f4 or d4, because after f5, the position will be quite passive. Two world champions Ooh. in the house. Just they a are. normal family. Well, OK. Move. Let's move. Active. Nicola needs to hurry up. Knight f7, prevent g5. I like this. If he already played knight h8, this is Let's only logical. Let's try to move. And maybe it's time to do something in the center knight since the king is still not castled. With some rook e8, some pressure on e file. Oh, uh, well, I can't play and with the king. She might want to consider on the center all, closing all my the life. center in order to attack so, on the king. So uh, this is happening. Uh, now her light squares are getting weak. I like taking here, then putting okay, some pressure. I, I forgot that the rook was hanging. <laughs> it's not like uh, this was some deep idea. I just blundered. Uh, yeah, Nicola instantly queen. played queen b5. I wonder if e2 he was did not want to take the rook and he thought that this was a positional sacrifice mm. of the exchange? Bishop. That's what I'm Bishop saying. C4 was Anything Anna does looks like it's, it was planned. 
Okay, now, now I think it's finally safe. Yeah, so now he plays c5. Nikolai safer usually than it prefers was. c5 over d5. Uh, let's just take. Okay, I like this. Now the problem of a queen, maybe queen a4. Now it's rook c1, very annoying. The queen still needs to go to e4. He lost the tempo. Hmm. This is a problem. White get, got too much Just counterplay. Stupid move. Take, take, take on g2. Maybe take on c1. It's so that d6 insane. is not hanging. But now he's losing on d6. He should That's have taken just on c1. Insane, people. Knight g4. Mm. Why not to a5? Don't ask me. C8. No, it's just it's, it's it's just a stupid game. Okay, uh, since since some time I just started to play very stupid. I think that like up to f4 it was more or less okay. Uh Nicola, maybe you shouldn't have played bishop b5 because after bishop b5, f5, I already got a lot of space and it was comfortable. I think you should have taken on f4 or d4 and then play f5. Or maybe like e takes f4. If I take g takes f4, then jump with knight h4. And if I take with the knight, uh, then maybe take this knight and play f5 or, or something of okay. this kind. Well but not to get this cramped position. And then I blundered the exchange on d1, and I blundered 100 other things, <laughs> but I was just lucky in there. Yeah, maybe yeah. takes f4 was... Uh, and then take some uh, counterplay with e file, like rook e8, and play against this pawn. Um, well, uh, first I'm going to... My biggest achievement this match that the computer considers my accuracy to be higher than honest, so like... Cool. So that's because of rook on d1, maybe. Uh, yeah, rook on d1 was, was uh, a bit too much. Yeah, uh, oops. So I have, let's see, yeah, I have just one side, a, a side note. I, I actually played this and studied this thereafter, and I figured that my strategy here was to prevent f4. Because what, if I remember correctly, and I'm sorry, I'm here talking about the former world champion and the WFM, but I want to stop white for castling and putting king on h2 and then putting f4 because that's a problem, which is why I played queen c8 and bishop b7, which it looks like mm -hmm. it's not a bad But motive. maybe h4 was fine for white. I didn't want to play h4 because then black always have the option to play bishop g4 and if I play f3 after that then I kind of uh, weaken my position even more. Actually I was calculating some uh, crazy lines like uh, after uh, for example queen c8 I was thinking maybe to I was thinking like g4 or bishop g5 but to be honest after bishop g5 I expected not knight g8 but knight h5. And then some line, I was going like g4, bishop g4, a takes g4, queen takes g4, attacking both of the bishops. Then I saw a nice move, knight g3, kind of a nice move, but then it, it runs to bishop f2. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> and, but uh, maybe I, simply bishop e3 is fine here. Maybe it was okay, but... Because but knight on like... h5 is also not defended if you take on g2. Yeah, maybe bishop e3 is just okay, uh, but uh, but I was like, when I saw this bishop f2, I thought, well, I don't want to see all these lines. I don't want to go for bishop c5 or, or whatever. Yeah, this looks crazy. But still, you, then in the end, you are taking with the, rook on, with the rook or with the queen on h5, and you're still fine. Yeah, maybe it's still okay. Uh, so maybe I should have gone for g4. Maybe at some point you should Obviously. have closed the center with d5 and then focus on the attacking on attacking the king side. No, okay, later on after f5, yeah, d5, and it's just a very pleasant position. But I I was uh, 
down to 30 seconds or 20 seconds and then I started you know to panic I am not an experienced online player yeah at some point <laughs> and uh, I, I started yeah uh, um yeah I'm looking here and uh, yeah I needed to take on d4 as Anna mentioned so and in, in this position that is in my in my stream I'm actually I mean it's an equal but I'm even slightly better yeah the bishop d4 and then c5 and you yeah. get some counterplay yeah yeah at that time I, I had six seconds so I couldn't really think okay okay um now uh, let me pat myself on the back and say this was a good game and uh, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send a rematch and um, it's uh, for nothing and we keep going yeah okay So, new game, but this is going quite... Uh, this is not so easy, as you can see. <laughs> E4, so let's play okay, something fuck. solid. Miss solid, Miss super solid. Four ones. So, knight c3, knight f3. What is he gonna play? Okay, knight f3. Stop blundering. Bishop Guys, C4. Anna can read the chat. Be nice. Nice to see that. And what does it mean? What should Nicholas I go for? just very focused and nervous. Oh, let's play Bishop C5. I don't even like, imagine I don't how much nervous Any I craziness. Be. Yeah, so another Gioco Piano. In D4. Active. I like how actively <laughs> Nicola is playing. A lot of gambits. Okay, I played this D4 so myself Bishop with D4, a lot. E D4, Knight D4, three options. And uh, yeah, this line is quite complicated. So I should take, not take, not take, 4D6, take, take. A four d six, yeah, that's that's what uh, bishop normally G5. because uh, bishop is gone. White can play four later. Oh, well. Uh, I'm reading all three chats, guys. I'll have to try to remember the theory. Yeah, or bishop g five. So first. I'm the voice for all three streams at the moment. Uh, how does it go? I don't have so much time <laughs> for. Yeah, we're figuring that's correct. it out. Anna spent some 30 it's, seconds. It's actually for response. It's actually bishop g5, the move. Shouldn't white start After with d4, f4. black is not winning. No. Black is not winning. Black is oh god, uh, it's uh, the position that Whether you better remember the lines. Not sure. Or or just know them. We had <laughs> yeah, just like you start okay so if playing on your h6, own six bishop g4 bishop h4 what to do then d6 you can yeah, play exactly. four because it's sharp she's getting very long time now one minute is the difference between them she needs to make one move h6 d6 maybe castle is also an option but she is afraid of a four. Okay, let's try this. H6 immediately a four. Wow. That's probably a little bit too wild. I was but somehow convinced uh, white uh, should have started with a four, not a bishop four g four could be. And then each tick takes and both knights are hanging. Instantly. Wow. Instantly, yeah. A four is a nice plan. But he's playing a four now. Oh my god. Oh, I don't like g5 at all. It weakens the king side so much. I think g5 was a blunder. d6 was a normal move that it that is played here. Because now g pawn is pinned. 
this pawn also is pinned to defending this knight. And she needs to come up with something active now, like d5 is probably the only move to stop this. It's like both, I didn't know it and I don't like it. And also not knowing this position is really, really bad. Because you need to come up with a reply in a short time. And if your opponent knows what he is doing, this is very <laughs> I don't know what to do in this line. Uh -oh. and That's then funny. It takes that five. It's very dangerous. Queen e5. I liked f takes e5. And if you don't know it. But this is also nice because after it's takes even take, the knight dangerous. is pinned and how to defend it. Ah, uh, maybe queen c5 and so now the task is not the bishop and it, there yeah. is also discovery check uh, chance threat. This is a chance, indeed. But it's not that easy to be honest. But that's the only move. H takes g5, but I also like the. We probably will be able to to look it, but after bishop g3, it looks like this knight is not being is not able to defend. Both both knights are under attack. And queen cannot well, defend them both. So after, after f takes c5, uh, he oh, was instantly I winning. I have to play something. Mm, and now he has bishop takes f7. And then he can just move the king. Mm -hmm. And this knight is pinned, so he is winning back the knight for sure, while protecting the king. So I like this. It's better than just leaving out the bishop on a four without def defense. At least you are taking the bishop. So he will have two pawns here. Yeah, that's correct. There is a mate in two if he will not react on this threat. Knight f3 and rook h2 mate. So that's that's what would happen. Discovery check. The only move is king h1 because it's double check and then rook h1. So taking on f6 is a mistake. Oh no. Oh no, he blundered the mate. Also knight e2 and knight g3 as well. Nicola just blundered the checkmate, but uh, but if not about that, if not about that, if what started with uh, king h1, I don't even want to know what would happen. I was just very, very lucky in this game. Yeah, I'm even one. sorry about that. Nicola? I mean, I am sorry about this game, but uh, you don't I really... Need to be sorry, <laughs> I forgot the line and I blundered the mate in, in an opening preparation. Uh, Peter Swidler, thanks a lot for the raid. But to be honest, I played this line, but instead of bishop g5, I used to play f4, d6, f takes e5, d takes e5, bishop g5, and this kind. Uh, so I thought that if you, when you started with bishop g5, I thought like you forgot something, but after h6, bishop h4, g5, no. f4. g5 is, is a blunder here, yeah. I thought it was like G5 close to the game was, or... Yeah, g5 was a blunder. It's just that as usually happens, I... Um, After f takes a5, you're winning a piece. Yeah, no, what I needed basically to play here is the, you know, and I forgot the line because uh, frankly, this is a line I prepped for Chiu. 
because she plays this extensively, so it's paid paid off. And what we basically needed to play, and I am gonna actually, yeah, I needed to play bishop f7. And uh, on which move? On move uh, 12. Uh -huh, here, yeah, I was calculating that and king f7 is king h1. Uh, you can play, yeah. or, or even better is rook f2. So king f7, rook f2, and you basically have that. That's the line. Mm. Uh, that's that's actually the, the the line that I have in my notes, but I really didn't expect you that you will play this. <laughs> yeah, but so I thought I even refer... twelve small king h one, I take queen takes c four, bishop f six, something like rook g eight, bishop e five, and yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, that's also a possibility. Yeah, I just needed but to play. But also rook. Yeah. after f takes e five. Yeah. Queen e5, uh, bishop g3 is winning a piece. Yeah, no, I did. And this, uh, yeah. You know, when I was thinking about this match, I always felt that I would have one chance of winning, and this was the line. And just for people, the g5, uh, you know, after f4, gf4, incidentally, just want to show you guys the winning move after that. Rook f4, is I rook guess. Rook f4, yeah. Yeah, that's and uh, it takes f4, queen takes yeah. d4, and I can't yeah. protect the knight. That, that's what I managed to see, but it was too late. Yeah. Uh, so you get the former world champion into an op your own opening prep. You get into the line and you blunder and mate into moves. Story of my life. Okay. Uh, yeah, you. no. <laughs> yeah, we learn. All right. Um, good. So I'm going to send a rematch. Okay. So it's halfway. Next game. <laughs> and yeah. let's uh, let's do this. I'm gonna take this off and mute myself again. Thank you, Olon Kolovic, for for the gift sub. And I, I'm starting the new game. <laughs> yeah. So that's five nil, and Anna needs five more games to win to adopt Nicola. So oh my god, oh my god. It has been already a couple of games. Uh, let's let's switch. Okay, so now it's something new. Let's see. D4. What he's no play. traps, please. Knight of six. And something okay. just very solid. Very just solid something. play. Very solid. Very very solid. Just don't blunder anything, and you will win. That's uh, that's the approach. G6. So it's Nicola. A Kings Indian player or Grunfeld player? Soon we will know, and that will depend on where he will move his d pawn to d6 yeah, or what, d5. Yeah, what is gonna the pawn do? d6, d5. He okay, my king is safe. Yet. No he attack, missed. no attacks. Thank you. First Thank you. thing I done. Hope that enough of headaches. You can go with for that. symmetrical d5. <laughs> D6. No, it's so, King's Indian then. So Nicola Nicola is King's Indian player, yeah? I see. Uh yeah, Nicola is definitely oh, but the underrated. Well, especially what if it's a trap. It's trap. actually a very nice trap for blitz games, especially. What was the right way to play? After bishop g5, I'll have to check that. She's one. still thinking about the previous game, how to play against uh, bishop g5. But, but that was just uh, h6 it. and then d6. That's what she should focus have. on the new game. a4, I want to get. Uh, what's the idea of a4? More space. Well, she wants to get space uh, by not allowing a6, b5. On the queen side, idea yeah, I'm Kings thinking Indian. how to do that. If I play. If I play d5, and then knight b4 is coming. No, this is this is so completely different a5. level, John. I, yeah, I should kind we analyze of the previous game. Try to get more space, so I even I more space. Straightforward with my plan. Active play, maybe e5 now, since she allowed him to develop the center faster. I'm not a d4 player. I play it very rarely. 
And I'm not a Kings Indian player from Black Sun. <laughs> um, in one of my games, I played C4 instead of A4, which is the main move. Okay. But I decided just to play a bit Something of sideline because I see solid. like Nikola is really very well prepared for this game. Okay, E5. That's what uh, I wanted to uh, see. I don't want to, you know, have more surprises. There and have been D enough. Okay. If, if D5, five, then knight the B4, and he will attack D5 pawn. And uh, or C4. Uh, should I? Once should you play C4, try some ideas with A6? you can play on the light squares. Bishop F5, something like this. Which may work. And of course, if she takes, takes, then. Uh, he gets a pawn in the or center, which is well defended. First? Some good counterplay. And that's an important moment. In if this I game, Nikola is spending D5. a lot of time. Not a good A6. sign. Something like that looks very logical. Winning against any title player is not so easy, especially when they because are if prepared I start with in the A6 opening. immediately, then maybe. E4, 9, G5, D5, C4 also looks quite good. So she's considering all the options. If she, she Should doesn't I open want to this take file or them. not? Uh -huh. She is considering to open the file. A6, it is I D4, think Black solves all D4, the opening problems. D5, if, it's also not so clear. If she takes only five. So let's take first. I, I'm I'm tired of all these calculations, and then then we like blunder <laughs> with uh, something easy. Well, coming to someone's stream and say that they are doing something uh, wrong six. is not really nice. Same as to coming to come if, to someone's home I and say that you don't like how five. how they made their room right so if you don't like something maybe send your ideas to her discord but she can read the chat if black moves the b7 pawn then this g2 bishop is very happy have some ideas with knight e5 or, or whatever no, well anna just said that she does not play d4 very often e4, so she yeah. has to calculate at the board e4 is kind of critical Boom, exactly. well, i don't have many squares, i will not keep silent so I have to play I here. insult the streamers if black takes we take so we are ready for that Oh, this was okay. A this is before. a bit unexpected. Smart. Is she gonna take on e4? Uh, so and what he can wants we do to take now? On I can six. try to play knight e4. Knight I I should take, and I shouldn't. Uh, or should I take on e4? So two moves. Yeah, I don't really like e4. Knight e4. Giving up the central pawn. A takes b7, then c3. I think it's is three. Where is this knight going? Not sure. Maybe it's just moving the Three queen six. away and threatening with rook d8 was better. And I can't take on e4 because in the end of the line, my knight maybe on here b1 simply will be takes a6. So, and if I start with knight e4, knight yeah, here c2, maybe uh, I believe. He takes a6 was, a6 was better. Knight f6, sure. bishop f6. And then I play something like rook a4 or just somewhere, and I believe Eight I will takes be better. B seven now. Well, it helps black develop the bishop. <laughs> Let's just hope I will be better. She still needs to develop the queen side. I'm trying so to point at my g2 bishop. Losing a tempo. Will play an important role. Because, for example, knight a6 here doesn't work as I take on f6 and I take on a6 a and then b takes a6 and I take the rook on a8. Knight takes e4. Yeah, if knight e4, taking... bishop e4, I'm attacking on b7 and I have my c2 pawn protected. 
also looks quite good. So what will Nicola come with? I think taking only four is the only way. And then I guess the idea was to take with the knight only six. After knight c2, I, uh, maybe I shouldn't take on f6 immediately. And ah, Nicola doesn't takes. want to take anything. Uh, Nicola doesn't hmm. want to take anything. Nicola? If you don't want to take, then I will. The problem is she now she will take on b7 and that. play c3. And uh, I don't know where to put the knight. Take is also an option. Knight c2. She can also take, take, and knight Maybe c5. Maybe taking knight c5 is, is stronger. But, and that but I also like taking on, on f6 board, but right and then take and then c3. And I, I don't know what to do with this knight. Or should I have just taken play c3, just something simple? I don't know. I don't know what was the best, but uh, this is looking okay. <laughs> well, he's not yet a son, but it's half adoption done. I hope so. So I am a pawn up, um, black can take the c2 pawn, but then the knight on c2 is a bit trapped. After rook a4, I'm not so play. sure. Uh, so yeah, rook, rook a4, and maybe he can About play the fate eight. of the knight on c2. Use the fact that the king maybe is not defended five. well enough. How can I know? Yeah, because now uh, take, take, and the threat move. is this rook d1, and take um, the bishop, and the knight is hanging as well. So bishop uh, after b7 is not a problem. Take, 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 take. Well, uh, or I can just step play. Stepson currently, correct. What should I play? Knight takes. A6 loses to rook a6. Uh, yeah, there, I wanna there play was a lot of calculation. I, I want to trap this knight. Rook d2, bishop d2, and maybe just move the bishop away. I really want to trap this knight. Now the bishop that is hanging, and I want to trap this knight. Dangerous. There is rook knight c4. a1. This is the problem. Rook c4, knight a1. Okay, so let's, that's the only place let's try that knight to... has. To move this knight to a1, if this knight wants and to move to a1, on let it be. Uh, now, this is very okay. Let's repeat once, knight c2. just once, and uh, let's take this one. And Nicola is in severe time trouble. The knight still can't move to. And I g4. Wow, tricky. Now what to do? Tricky. Four. Nicola. Maybe back to f6. This was missed, to be honest. Oh no. Uh, take, take, and rook a, f, rook a2, maybe. Okay, then uh, I would have taken on a7, and this was more or less okay. I think I could play. Yeah, long time is really difficult to play. Hello. Hello. Hey, Anna. All right, that was that was interesting. Yeah, after a six, it was like this pawn was creating serious problems for Black. Maybe yeah. it was uh, there were better options. And also from my side, I believe there were better options, especially in the end. Uh, but still, I mean, after a6, it looks like it's not that great for black. Yeah, I needed to find king, a queen e7 according to the engine. Yeah, queen e7 and then, yeah, you have a 
like spoiled bone structure, but you have some activity. Yeah. 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 Days when I will be able to find that Queen E7 in a Blitz game are not. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that Queen E7 yeah, made sense because Queen. Uh, I will. Yeah. All right. I needed to play probably for my own benefit A6 sooner. And yeah, okay. All right. Well, live and learn. Thanks. Anna, yeah, th this game. one actually looks very unclear. Queen e7, eight takes b7, bishop b7, and e4 is coming or rook d8. Uh, black is much better developed. Yeah. Yeah, that actually that pushing a4, a5 looks like it's losing some tenpai. And uh, I sh I still, for the sake of uh, my own san sanity, I shouldn't have allowed that pawn to get all the way to a6. Yeah, it's the favorite line of Antonetta Stefano. I think she played many games with a4, a5. Sure. All right. Very oh. good. Yeah, the problem is by the time you figure out what you're doing, you are completely down on time. So, all right. Very good. Thank you, Anna. Very greatly appreciate it. I'll let me mute. Yeah. And we are about to start a new game. Yeah, game seven. Uh, so, so, but what to play? If I was dangerous. So let, let's do let's do something different. Okay, game seven is on, and mm, let's do something different. Myself. No, if I. No, thank you. No. Let's go for some time, Anna. Why not? Something sharp and unclear. I could also repeat. I could also repeat Scandinavian. Okay, so. Uh, this is a bit different because kind of uh, c4 is a better setup after a6 in this. She can play bishop b4 and Nicola might be playing taking c6. Um, takes and like this order is also possible and there are some options. There is bishop b4. Also after taking there is bishop c6. Five. He might consider e5. And I am thinking which one, which one to choose. Let's go for bishop c5. Just a bold guess. Hey, Glamdring, thank you for the bits. Maybe this one was not covered by Nicola. Why does it say what? I played uh, um, many times all these smart systems with white color, so I do have quite a lot of experience in this type of structures. Can I see too? Can I try to play queen d6? Uh, let's just let's just play something solid just like that a good castle as well Uh, bishop c5 in general on move six is not the main move. Bishop b4 is the main move. Uh, but I decided to play 
like a bit of a sideline, not like a total sideline, but a bit of a sideline. Uh, yeah, so we have Beat Wars on the channel are on if you would Can like I to one? bid. Who's oh, going to push F4? Win the match. Not bad. You can do that. And how should I react to that? Uh, I can try to play B5 one day. This looks like still a fair. This yet. was this will lead to some pawn sacrifice, which is. To be honest, I don't want to sacrifice too much. So now e three five, then bishop e three. But maybe it's not bad. Trying to trade the bishop and play, play against like weakness on d six. Bishop d seven, rook c eight, and so on. Or I can try to prepare this b five idea. What is the best way? I don't know what is the best way. Okay, let's just play some moves. I didn't want to play b6 uh, and bishop b7 because then there might be some problems with the bishop on c5. a3, b4 is threatening, so let's protect this pawn. Now let's go. The problem is that white has a very solid position here, just very, very solid. It will be difficult to this break through. Solid and so he also has to... a bit more time. Still, but maybe bishop the pieces. Three is an idea to get maybe rid I'll of the dark square. Try bishop. to push oh, g4. And d6 Nicola, is a weakness. Are you going to crush me or what? D5 or is not what? possible. What is your idea? This looks very ambitious. On Nicholas' side, uh, that looks. <laughs> uh, that looks I'm not interesting. Sure what to do okay, here. G four, G five, five is coming. I can see that. I can feel that. Uh, so, <laughs> what should be the reaction to all of this? Yeah, it keeps adding twice. I'm not sure why. Why does it say two hundred now? I. I'm really puzzled. Hmm. Some problems again. Some well, I don't manually remove it. Okay, I just don't want to play Everything some passive position. I'm sure the five is not the move, not the correct way to play it, but I just don't want to play some passive yeah, position. Yeah, so d five is very active, but uh, it gives white at least a chance to win a pawn. E B five, she cannot take. E five. E five, and now I was going to jump here. Of pieces, why not to take on D five? It's a free pawn. If White takes, we take. Also, I don't like this opposition of the rook and the queen. And we will get the weak pawn on E four, but uh, White's king will also be. A bit hmm. vulnerable. Yeah, the king is open. That's why probably That's what I'm to close for. the position. But he gives a lot of counterplay to Anna. Mm -hmm. Now she has queen h4. Uh, now let me try to find. But she is lower on time. Uh, uh, some way. Okay, let's put the bishop here. Let's attack the queen. Yeah, so now queen e1, preventing queen h4. And then maybe some. And now I have the choice. I can play something like e3, rook d2. e3 looks interesting. Or. Or I have some mm -hmm. fancy idea of playing rook d3 right here. It does rook and kind of pretend one? that uh, there will be some, some, something or this diagonal. I didn't think about rook d3. Rook d3. <laughs> rook d3. Okay, rook d3 or What's... e3. I, I, I have to make the decision quickly. That's maybe a little bit too positional. Not so solid. 
Route is re or is re is re I like is re I'm not really sure how to react. Maybe rook d1 and rook d3. Rook d3 was nice, at least. She also has an idea of g5 to poke this pawn and then try to win e5. Also have some time problems. So my idea is maybe now, you know, to move or to sacrifice this knight and then to go. Uh, yeah, like I didn't like the g5 idea. Bishop c6. So here we are. Take, 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 take. No, but this. I don't like this so much. What to do? What to do? I'm low on time. Yeah, she's very low on time. And what to do? I'm low on time and I don't know what to do. I don't see anything except for g5 in this position, because if you are too slow, this pawn on e3 will become a target. Okay, I'll just try to play quickly. Now bishop d1 and queen is already targeting it, so now he can one take more. on e3. Bring the rook. Knight e3. I like bishop c1 with the idea to take with the bishop and trade the bishops. No, I hope to move my bishop to c6. And now he can sort of in this knight somehow with the bishop not like but the problem of the open light squares diagonal changing. is working in her favor she has some checks Devaluation. some bishop e4 but i am trying What are the odds? The odds are five to one for Nicola to avoid adoption and two to one for Anna to adopt. H3, king h2, I like it. Yeah, three. because g1 is not three the square you want to put I the think. king on. Uh, so the now, king is sort of now safe what can, now. What can I come up with? Now? And he wants to play queen f2. And then he can pin the knight. Maybe c5, cut off the bishop. This is a good chance now. It will take a lot of time for her to bring the bishop back to play. And now he's low on time again. The time went somewhere so quickly. E f5 is... F5 was like a no. help for me because now this pawn is hanging. Yeah, e5 is hanging. He, he doesn't have knight d5 and it's it's a mess. Knight f3 is coming. The knight on e3 is in trouble. Yeah, the king is too exposed. c5 was just stopping from her from counterplaying at all. Now knight f3 was uh, winning, and yeah, this is also winning. Knight f5, and she is a rook up. No, exchange up. Okay, this is not precise. Maybe king f4, try to run away from it. That's why now I have to play bishop c8. Take here. Okay, if not about f five, I had some problems. So. Okay, that was. Yeah. I, I think you should have played c5 at some moment just to, you know. Instead of a 5, I think c5 yeah, was. Yeah, c5, really... knight c4, knight d6 was coming and blocking my a7 bishop. Hmm. You both had bishops on a7 in this match. Uh, yes. Uh, where yeah. was that? A full disclosure yeah, this is actually a line that I was prepping with Danya. Wow. 
Um, so I all the time I'm like falling into your preparation. Yeah. yeah. With black with black pieces. With white I'm doing more or less okay. So Yeah, because if you try to avoid the, yeah. the openings which you normally play, you fall into pre prep against other adoption <laughs> attempts. <laughs> uh, I see. I see. Yeah, C five I really liked C five here, move twenty four. Okay, so these pawns I'm... are stopping the bishop from, from playing. Yeah. All right, uh, so I had, I needed to play c5, yes, instead of f5. That was forcing the position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so all this uh, attempt to open the position with d5 at knight e4 shouldn't have worked. Yeah, okay, well. Let me put it this way. Uh, the, yeah, the whole uh, c4, uh, knight c2 line, that's something that uh, Dania and I looked, looked into on streams during the week. So I thought I actually handled it pretty well, but some, somewhere along the lines, I lost the, I lost the track, which is understandable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, live and learn. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I'm sending you the rematch. And muting myself. Oh, another game. Something will happen once again. So let's turn. But now I'm with the white game pieces. Eight. Should be safer. So even more solid this time. Oh, what was prepared for the Royal Opus? Thank you, Screws, for the beats. For the main Royal Opus. What was prepared there? Let's see. Knight of six, castle. No. I have to admit that yeah, Nicola is really very well prepared in the openings, like, like really like really good <laughs> even for some sidelines uh, the only opening we didn't go well for him was scandinavian uh, and and what else and I, <laughs> i'm struggling to find what else so this three plays they play um, here. this three and rookie one are both like main and most uh in the you position. Can B5, D6. Uh, so now black has two options to go for D6 or to go for B5. A D6 is a bit uh, more passive and B5 is more yeah, active. Yeah, we saw that Nikola is always playing active. That. And now I, I'm anticipating so now maybe D6. No D6. And then she might play A4. And then I will think if I go for a4 or if I go for a3 or, or what should I do? Or, or what should I do? What should I do? Okay, let's pretend. Let's pretend I am MVL and I play a3. <laughs> MVL. Well, I am like, you know, the shadow of MVL because I believe MVL know this line much better than I do. I think I have never played it with white. Uh, but uh, a3, knight c3, this setup is seen quite often in the elite tournaments. So it's, it's really kind of very popular. <laughs> Calling uh, knight a5, bishop g4 is another direction. Also C5 is a also good Also very popular one. Uh, yeah. C5 uh, and then the knight can go back with the knight pawn and on C5, C5, preventing exactly. B4. Uh, now white usually plays B4. Now maybe <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, to remember at least some games how, how they are played in this line. Okay, bishop e2, uh, bishop a2, and then there is a rook a2, mm -hmm. and then there is so knight a2. Knight rook a2 is more popular, okay, two knights is six, 
Bishop G5. Yeah, I would have preferred to and have so on one. and so on. But as rook a2 is more popular, should we try knight a2? Well, we may try. Okay, let's play rook a2. If rook a2 is more popular, then it's more popular for a reason. Logical? Very logical. Very, very logical. Okay, knight c6. Anna is also Miss Logic. Should I go for Bishop G5? 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 I'll try to go for Bishop G5. Now there are two moves which are very solid logic, correct? Uh, uh, which are like the main yeah, moves is 97, 94. If, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and this beat. position has been played many times, including and and on this the, channel, including the games of the candidates tournament. Some MVL played it, Napoleon she played it. I mean, I am amazed how Nicola can know everything about theory. Is he studying theory? He does. He does. Thirty Anushka. hours a day. No, really, Nicola, what are you doing? I'm, I'm not sure how he finds so much time, but what I'm are you really doing? <laughs> how much he's prepared. Well, maybe Nicola is working on chess more than me. Oh, well, that's, that's just a joke. He but, did prepare but I'm really surprised like, for Daniel his rating week. and uh, to know the theory so well. It's amazing. Knight of six. Yeah, and... uh, knight of six. <laughs> Maybe he's planning to prepare c6, d5. What should I do? I am jealous. I think even Anna is jealous of his preparation. Just a second. I'll try to figure out what I should do here. I saw some idea like this one. Maybe Aronian played it. So the idea is to push a4. Yeah, they both jealous. Queen b1 looks a bit suspicious. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Now I, I remember what is it the possible to play d5 here? And oh, why a rook one is played more often? I think I got it. Okay, got it. let's see. I think d5 was better. I also but 94 looks quite okay. But I think. But D5 what to do with the pawn on d4 after take take and uh, knight take 92? It, Many options. Now we can try to play knight d5, but that will be boring. 95, 95, or even c6. No, that that will be boring. I don't want boring. I don't want boring game. Yeah, c5. Five and, and, uh, and, 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 and do we play? We don't want to capture on b4 because these two pawns will here. be very weak. Um, mm. Maybe I still could try to make my idea with a4 possible. Oh, okay, so she's considering maybe, a4. Maybe, maybe I should have tried with a4. I can still try with a4. And maybe it's better Should to remove the queen a after a4 so that the rook is defending on a8. Let me try to push it. Okay, so what to do now? Maybe rook b8. It's of course a big question who will win this a file. Uh, but taking into account that my rook is already on a2 and the other rook will be ready to play from f1 to a1. Yeah, this c5 is a bit late. I, I'll try I really to be like quicker. To before, but now. Queen d6. Maybe knight f5. That's I really fine. like knight f5. This bishop is not defended. Uh, the knight is attacking d6, taking a nice square on f5. Fine? Check to the bishop. Check to the bishop. Maybe bishop f6. Taking a square from the knight, yeah, but the knight can still go on e5. Expected. Then, of course, some f4 is possible now since we have some the ideas. center is blocked. Oh. 
and I aren't have some I ideas. so much up on time right I now? I do have some ideas. It's better to have some ideas rather than not to have any ideas. Let's attack this. Miss ideas. Miss this ideas. pawn, I mean. Right, so mm, and now I had the idea of moving my knight to d5. But the big question is if, if it helps me at all. Maybe bishop f4 was just like a strange move. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Maybe I should have, yeah, I should have kept my bishop on d2, I believe. Anyway, I have played it, so I have to come up with some new idea. Let's try to find a new idea. Yeah, the center is so close. Which it's is really difficult to is, find the idea, idea here. Know, which, is, which is what? Maybe she can remove the queen and bring the rook to a1. Okay, let's take it because uh, I may forget and then, <laughs> and then just give it. And knight e5, fine. And now, what are we about to do now? Uh, let's take it. And, and I was speaking about this file, yeah? Let's try to pretend that was my idea. Okay, so she played with the queen on a1 and it's a very Man unclear to be needs honest. to react because the rook is hanging. Nikola is also down to 20 seconds. I wouldn't be much surprised if... Okay, okay no, I will be quite surprised if white is worse. G6. Uh, C4 was strong. C4 was strong. Okay, one. And infiltrate via the seventh okay, rank. Okay. Seems strong. How to make it? If I play a four, then knight g four is gone. I don't like it. No hurry to put the knight on d five. Well, there are also some okay. ideas with attacking the king okay. from f five. I saw that the pawn was hanging. Okay. I did not see. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this three was hanging. But of course, knight d5 uh, would have come with attacking the queen. My knight. But now she provoked g6. Check. Weakening the king. Check. Weakening f6. Uh, can I take the maybe pawn? Maybe f4. Uh, you, can. you can take and then maybe dangerous. some of b1 and b5. But it's too late to be scared of something. Let's take. And let's go here or here. Let's go Queen here. Queen b2, c3. c3 is annoying. Wow. I do hope I'm not blundering anything because it will be just. This looks a little bit dangerous. But yeah, knight b6, queen a1. This I saw. Uh, this and if I she saw, trades, then it might be losing for one. Once move. she plays c3, there is knight b3. To, to have it. This is might be the chance safer. for Nicola. Now let's protect this way or somewhere. Let's protect it this way. Now knight maybe rook three, a3 and here knight and my knight is also controlling the square. Rook Can't be bad. Rook b3 is coming. Okay. I, I, told, I told you that my knight on d5 was strong. Yeah, he just blundered. I told knight. you. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, this one was more or less normal game. Yeah. From both sides. And just you were low on time. I think that before you played c4, it was like maybe a little bit better for white, but more or less. Yeah. Okay I, for black as well. Yeah, I. The, this this line is something that I actually uh, p 
played a lot with uh, Karina and I had a little bit of a prep there, but uh, I, I lost, lost my way somewhere along the line. I don't think this is, uh, you know, it, it was fine until, uh, you know, uh, maybe after queen b1, uh, why a rook e1 is actually, as I remembered after I played queen b1, I think rook e1 is the main move. Uh, because after queen b1, you can play d5 immediately. Yeah, I sh And I... you have enough of pieces. Uh, I mean, the knight on c6 is, protect is protecting the e5 pawn, so yeah. you can just... Yeah, I chickened out of playing d5. I was looking at there, but I didn't, um, you know... Anyway, I also kind of liked c5 before you played b4. Extra control over the d4 square. Ah, c5 is possible, but uh, knight e5, bishop e6 is before. like the, the most uh, trend line. Okay. <laughs> so it's the bishop e6 is completely fine. Okay. No, no, this. Uh, yeah. I. Yeah, I think c5 is actually perfectly fine. And I actually, uh, I don't know, I contested this with uh, Karina. And I even think that I ended up having a one position in this. This is the one when I blundered the mate in two, I think. Mm -hmm. um, no, this one, yeah, it was This one, there was no close. mate in two, nowhere close. Okay. Yeah, remember, the draw is enough. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So two more games. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Thank you, Anna, again. All right. Sending yeah. the rematch. Muting myself. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So two more games. So my last game was black color. A last last torture with the black color. <laughs> because the yeah, odds. like every game with black color was uh, was a problem. Well, let's let's play E5, but let's play. Let's play it in a safer way. I am going to knight c6. So bishop c4 again. Nicola, I already know your trap. Let's go for something different. Let's she just not, not allow that. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, another crazy line. <laughs> I'm starting to like Italian game a lot. Um, bishop b5, now there are two moves, c6 and bishop d7. c6 is more sharp. But this was also prepared. Uh, yeah, bishop d3. And then I think knight d5 or and bishop c5. The line c5. which I played myself. So yeah, she needs to, to develop do? and castle. What to do? How to avoid this? all this preparation and so on. That is an isolated pawn, but it's also controlling d5 square. And why doesn't want to play c4? Because then d4 square will be weakened. Hmm. Okay, this is the main move. I'm also a bit afraid there may be some drawish lines <laughs> uh, that is uh, not good too. Yeah, maybe bishop d6, wow. then just castle, rook e8, simple development. Anyway. And white also needs to solve some development issues. This bishop on d3 is blocking pawn on d2, so maybe b3, fianchetto, and then knight c3. It will be the way it will be. So we sacrifice the pawn. We are trying to pretend that uh, we have a better control over the center and that we have better development. Well, Nicola has an extra pawn, but she is uh, very well developed right now. The compensation. So compensation with this active pieces Give here me is really, so. really well. Also, you need so to look out for some now actually for some I forks have to think what with to E4. Do. So castle and because I Rook see e. some problems, especially in terms uh, how to play 
in this position for a win. But it is good drawing chances for White. If he manages to to, to okay, let's play here. consolidate the pieces, give up a pawn in the right moment, then it's really good drawing chances. Maybe in general playing e5 is not a smart way when you have to win. Uh, bishop e2. Bishop e2 is the move, I don't know. She has e4 now. And I believe it's the move that is not that good. Yeah, if you don't know it, probably it's not a good move because after e4 and queen h4, uh, White just, can get I have trouble. no idea how to react to it. Queen h4 or, or queen okay, g5. Let's, let's go and, the knight and, and we will think later. And get Because when you have pawn down, you have to do something. She has good. You have to do something. You have to be active. Uh, no, no, no. Now there are two moves. So yeah. Ninety one or ninety four. I don't like ninety four. So sharp that after c five, this knight can be lost on d four. After ninety one, like yeah, queen g five. Ninety one is very passive. After ninety one, it's clear there is some compensation. Uh, we can. Okay, knight e one was not played, it and might after have ninety four, there are some known tactics at hand of possibilities. Because the mate is not c five knight b three. I don't get Knight much G2, of it. Queen h4, h2. What I would like to make work is knight g5. Knight g2, king There are so many pieces G5. looking into the king. And then at least, at least queen f5. Uh, but it's more just queen f4 and maybe it's the mate. Does it work? I don't know. Let Nicola calculate it. Let Nicola calculate it. Yeah, this is very unpleasant. I uh, also had an option yeah, bishop to it play was knight h3 instead passive. of knight g2, but knight h3, I thought uh, there was king h1. If here king h1, then because queen g takes h4. It, no, but maybe in g takes it. No, g takes h3, queen g5, can h1, queen f4 is bad. Bishop g4 could yeah, also this, be bad. This is uh, f4. But knight h3, king h1, if I take on f2, rook f2, queen h4, g3, that was not great. Knight h3, king h1, queen h4, g3. Also, some problems. Knight h3, king h1, queen f6. This calculation. Queen f6. I'm just like, boom. Worked well. F4. Maybe knight is two is even better. Uh, okay, what's happening? F4. I'm just too tired. <laughs> let's, let's take it. Uh, may, maybe it's not the strongest. Maybe some bishop h3 was even stronger, but knight f4 is just like this cannot be bad. It'd be very good Already for Already mate is so threatening. Just took it just something simple. And if king h1, then bishop h3. Poisoned horsey. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a mate if the king takes on g2. And now queen, queen g5 pinning the bishop. H5 but is coming. it queen g5 just, just winning? Well, it was already winning after knight f f4, obviously. Just I thought that instead of bishop g4, the only move was king h1. And I was already like prepared to move my bishop from c8 to h3 or to do something of this kind. But after bishop g4, queen g5, and now even h3 is not possible because I take knight h3 and I take this g4 bishop. So, 
so it all looks great. Yeah, this is really bad. And that leaves Nicola one last chance. Last Basically, game. I think like uh, Bishop E2 was the main mistake here. I think uh, we should have played. Oops, ah, we have, we yeah, have this, the move. Yeah, this is desperation. It's, we have the move. Uh, it's well, over. Nicola wants Nicola wants that after Bishop F4 he can play H3, but still F H5 is totally winning. Uh, though maybe Queen F4 is even better. Queen F4, Bishop C8, Queen H2, King F1. Uh, queen h1, king a2, queen h5, king a1, bishop g3, winning the queen. I mean, it's there like so many both here. moves are. <laughs> it, it's too much winning. Well, let's take it. Let's take it because there is a nice line. Bishop moves somewhere. Ah, bishop doesn't move anywhere. Bishop doesn't check, move anywhere. Check. Now we can take the bishop and we can also take. This one, check, 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 and then check two, yeah? here with, and take the queen. Here, bishop g3. How to check? How to checkmate? She wants to checkmate. She's enjoying this. Take, take, and bishop g3. I think this is the quickest. It is too much winning. Uh, but the same was queen, queen g4, of course. Goes, goes here. Check. Here, okay, bishop, bishop g3. And here, Spread bishop g5, g4. Ah, yeah, okay, this is even and better. If queen e2, and if here, and then, then here, and then uh, bishop is weird, here, this. and then here. Uh, and take the queen. What, I, what was I going to do here? <laughs> and if bishop g1, then oh, bishop why did I play that? And just win this bishop. Mm. Beautiful. But that move, knight uh, g2, was so beautiful. It's really good when your position is too much winning, just too much. So winning, even Just the camera stopped focusing on Anna. Too much. She is too much for the camera. If uh, something is uh, capturing my F5 pawn, then I just castle. OK, I'm increasing the odds, guys. Check this out. Bishop g1, nice try. I go. Let's say I go here. Now the most important is just not to blunder. It's not like queen in one move or just, you know, mate. and not to do mate. something uh, totally stupid. I am an exchange and two pawns up. Queen h3 mate, bishop h3 mate. Beautiful. Uh, by the way, queen h3 immediately wasn't an easier checkmate. I don't know why, yeah. why I wanted to, to play uh, f4. No I was just uh, going to play f4 if white um, didn't play bishop g1. All right, I was overdue That's for right. an embarrassing right. loss. So thank you, Anna. That was, uh, that was good. Um, no, bishop, bishop e2 was the problem, I think. After yeah. knight f4, rook one is uh, the main move, and uh, it's completely okay for white. But after bishop e2, e4, uh, then it's like very passive. Maybe knight e1 is better, but knight e1 maybe runs. No, maybe knight, knight e1 should be better. Yeah, knight e1 prevents knight. Knight g2 and uh, knight h3 ideas. But still, it's like, I mean, uh, stronger player they prefer to play rook e1 as far as i remember yeah and i needed to play knight e1 because for the precise reason to provide prevent uh, knight g2 yeah but maybe instead of bishop e2 it's better like rook e1 yeah that's what i'm saying yeah yeah uh, okay yeah fair enough and i'm actually better no i messed up this line so uh but ah, it's very ah. difficult to play this development is incredible yeah i actually play this as black uh, a lot and, it's much uh, nicer to play with black. Nice. yeah when, when i played like play as white. All right. when i played knight of six i was like no just no knight g5 and then knight g5 appears on the you, you guys like should, none <laughs> you guys should right. switch for the next game and play it the opposite color yeah <laughs> thank you kirby 1111 i appreciate that it's uh, uh oh well uh i've Let's one more game. I think last two matches I managed to defeat in the game ten. So let's yeah, see what happens. Yeah, this is a cursed game. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. 
I'm sending Good luck. The, I'm sending the rematch. And yeah. I'm right. muting myself. All right. Okay. okay, the last one. The last Let's one listen to Anna today. this time. I will not lower her voice. Uh, I am giving 10 to 1 odds for Nicola to four. defeat the adoption now. This is the chance. So, so which one which, which one to play? If you Let's play the one channel, I tried with Knight C3. Nicola. Then you get I think a lot I of had points if he wins or draws a good game. game there and 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 no no craziness on the board. <laughs> yes, some solid. Which bishop move is he gonna take? C5. So also e7 and game. b4 was possible. Time for a bone cloud. No, no, not from this. I am player. getting more experience in uh, Knight C3 line. I used to play Italian quite often with uh, both, uh, with both with white and with black. H6. Oh well, let it be. Three H6 solid. A6. A6 A3. <laughs> uh, no, she probably will play okay. something more Ready. active. Like, <laughs> mm, okay, well. Exchanging prophylaxis like moves. The most. Oh, this is so symmetrical. Castle, castle. It's not like the best way to do that, but castle, it shouldn't castle, be the worst. 95, 94. Complete mirror. But he's have the one choice. move behind. So you cannot do symmetrical Let's for too just long. Not think too long. It's dangerous. Because thinking long leads to some problems, as we have learned. From the previous games. Oh, the moment of truth. Take, take. You can play some d5, get some space advantage, or immediately bishop e6, repeat the same. In 97. 97, the knight is coming to g6. So you can see, all right. Everyone uh, is waiting for bishop e6. Uh, 97 was what are perhaps, you perhaps it a bit too quickly because now I have this d4. So it's quick. If knight g6, I take on e5, and there are problems with the pawn on f7. And if D4, if like D5, this, five bishop b7. Then at I least take develop the bishop. Okay, a, yeah. castle. Take like take it. castle. But yeah, his bishop cannot find any space here. I'm thinking so because now after if I castle, so. then perhaps knight e4 is coming. Uh, so maybe I'll just first move this bishop. So no knight e4. No knight e4. If d5, I play e5. And if if something, then I castle finally. She's really solid. But she needs to win. She needs to win. Draw so is not I, enough. Uh, my idea is now to... Oh no. Why, why did I so put my bishop? So bishop b6 finally came. Why did Six, I put my sticks. bishop on this way? I should have put it to a2, of course. Maybe, yeah, now she cannot save the bishop from trading. Uh, and it was a okay, nice let's bishop. Take it. And let's go. Draw is not possible uh, after all these games. No, I should have put my bishop on a2 and then castle. Of course, of course. Of course. Can activate his queen. Queen a8, queen h5. G6. Is she considering some central pawn move? D5 you is have possible. have to be careful because these knights start jumping. Jumping around. Maybe he and can this is not so pleasant. play D5 or E5. E5 on the board, yeah.
Hmm. Sounds decent. Let's point. So if takes, then knight takes. The rook. So she obviously doesn't want to, to do the that. Game. Two active nice knights. And black definitely has a good position right at the moment. Something like about equal. But I have to win this somehow, yeah? Knight h5. Yeah, these knights are... These knights are starting to jump. Prophylaxis. I could think about preparing... Uh, I'll have to do something with, with my knights too. Because it's not fair that black knights are jumping and I'm just staying. Also c6 restricts the knight from coming to d5. Knight f4. Okay. I see. I see. <clears throat> so at least a uh, knight h3 is not a threat. So what yeah, should I do? Yeah, right. She also needs to look out for some. Take, take. Take. Sacrifices. And this doesn't help much. Take, take, take. Yeah, if d takes e5, knight d5, some counter. Oh, this play. is definitely not great. And he can ignore this because he has another knight coming to a four in case of a trade. Um, he decided mm. to take okay, double the pawns. I, I didn't like 95 so much from black side. Yeah, because his knights are so active. Um, now he allows to take on e5 and keep, keep a strong pawn on d5. Can I take it? Take, 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 and take on e5. So he blunders. I the should pawn. be able to take it. Hmm. Nicola? This is not good news. <clears throat> takes, takes, rook e5, c6, c4. Yes, c six does not help because of c four, and this pawn is very strong. It's still not so easy because uh, there is like a, a queen and rooks on the board, so some counterplay may come from. Yeah, with both rooks, it's still somewhere. possible. Here, it's already much better for white. Uh, but now looks, it's not so right. bad. I mean, it was not so bad at any moment, but now it's definitely not bad. 24, and some infiltrations to e7, to e8. to do it in the most precise way. She will also have rook e8, rook g8. If you don't want, if you don't know what to do, I mean, here or here. I know I have to... Place Even my queen That's in the center. But with the queens, especially with this the can't queen, be bad. Uh, she must be winning here. This can't be bad. If you don't know queen what to e3. do, okay. put your queen Maybe toward the center or on the open file. Maybe queen d4 is better. C6, I maybe don't know. queen b3 is possible. <clears throat> anyway, queen e was, was decent. It was not bad. And he is also getting low on time. And I remind you, this is the last game of the adoption match. Anna is now on 9 nil, so and my idea she is needs to, to win just this game to adopt Nicolas uh, Toysen. Centralize my pieces now. Okay, queen f7. Queen f7. Here is the check, I see it. Uh, let's pick where this, this, this. Let's avoid it. I don't think it was the best. 
I maybe had to play something like B3, C4. I couldn't play C4 immediately because Queen, C, Queen F1 and Queen C4, but B3, C4. Uh huh. Nicola wants to go for a rook endgame. That's probably right. This Nicola knows Except that in the rook, rook endgame there are some drawing tendencies. Uh, let's... Rank. Okay, she doesn't really have a, a choice. Rook game. Let's play a rook endgame. Uh, let's play a, a rook endgame. Rook c4, maybe? Rook c4, I have c3. Uh, here D6. I will not. d6, and then she takes on I d7. I will not give you this pawn. But now king f8. Some and if Nicola chances. doesn't do anything, I will run with the king. But Nicola will do something. You can also play b5 to defend b7 pawn. Yeah, but this, this position so was already very difficult. Nicola will do here. Her queen was stronger, so he had to do something. And this is and better chances with, than with the queens. Okay. I'm coming, mm. Nicola. Yeah, now she's already advanced hey, so much. Nicola, I am coming closer. Let's play it. Maybe b5? Mm -hmm. uh, let's. Let's. You can also play h4. Staked. Yeah, that's a uh, masterclass indeed. And uh, let's play it here. I could start with g3 also. B3. Uh, let's. The rook is trapped. Defending the spawn. Okay, I should be winning now. King okay, it was winning. She's, <laughs> winning. she's winning a rook. Uh, in the rook endgame. I think the rook endgame was winning even if I played d6. But the idea Nicola could uh, do was the idea to play not g5, h5, but to play a5. The idea is that black is threatening if I do the same. A black is kind of playing this and then rook b5 still, yeah, still looks bad. Yeah, still should be. No, the king is too close. Should be losing for black, I think. All right. Well, first, congratulations, Anna. This is my second adoption. <laughs> and that was and my a first one. Class. Yes. That was a Thank rook you. game masterclass. Um, I actually am not unhappy with the way I played. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a joke that I reserve for this, which is um, which is I'm gonna borrow this from Alessia and basically say, "Mom, I need a new car. My car is old." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, thank you, Anna, for the for the great match. That was fun. I certainly had my chances. I didn't need to blunder that pawn in the last game, I don't think. Yeah, your uh, Olin Kulfi, thanks a lot. Yeah. I mean, your position was great after I played. I mean, I just uh, misplaced the bishop. I should have played bishop a2, and if you go bishop e6, then I castle. But after I played bishop e bishop b3, you played bishop e6, I immediately regretted it, and then everything was okay. Uh, just I didn't like knight takes d5. Because after knight takes d5, e takes d5, even if you don't blunder, even if you take on d4, then I play knight d4 and the knight is coming to e6. So that's already a problem. Yeah. Uh, but if you don't take the knight on d5, if you play just anything, just, I don't know, maybe c6 take on... or, yeah. or, or knight e6, knight e6 was yeah. actually also interesting with the idea to play uh, c6 right. later on. You are not worse at least, I mean. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. I, I I see that those I I felt I was I was uh, when I managed to bring the knight to yeah I uh, engine like c6 uh, to basically to prevent knight d5 yeah, to prevent knight it f4, from the start and I considered doing it but I didn't do it so okay uh, well you know uh, first I have a, I have a bounty to fulfill so let me do that. And there is something crazy happening in Anna's channel. Yeah. I, I've got some subs. <laughs> uh, no, but I have they to say so that, <laughs> that I mean, 
I, I was really impressed by Nicola's preparation and by Nicola's level of play because I expected it to be much easier. <laughs> Thank well, you. I know, <laughs> I know it doesn't sound good now, uh, but uh, especially this opening trap with the uh, yes, I, vibe, had, I mean, uh, I was like. Yeah. <laughs> I spent all my time and uh, still it was yeah. uh, too late to uh, I mean to find something because it was already lost yes. and uh, a couple of positions were like even in the last game it was yeah. far from clear so I mean Nicola thanks a lot for this match thank no, you thank Angelique. you no thank you <laughs> look uh, you are the uh, let me put it this way: You are the strong player here. I am. I am basically the, you know, I am the putzer here. I am the one who is trying to learn. Second uh, that. You know, I don't. Uh, you know, I am very grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for finding the time. And uh, let me put it this way: I definitely. You had to work for these wins and that's uh, that's kind of already enough and i need to i actually told to my chat before that uh, i am um, that i'm gonna get one chance to win and i got my chance to win and i then blundered the blunder the mate so um it is what it is congratulations anna Thank you so much. I mean, Nicola, thank you too. Thanks for this match because I actually also learned uh, some new things of it. Uh, jokes oh, aside, you. I mean, it's uh, not uh, not something funny. That's and very may sweet. I ask you the question? Yes. Uh, when did you start to play chess, and uh, when did you start to have some trainings? I am sure uh, you have been asked about it before, but I am. Uh, like uh, new okay not very new but new to streaming so i don't know much about you no 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 worries i'm happy to i'm more than happy to answer i learned the ch uh, chess at the age of uh, five from my father and i kind of was a recreational player throughout my teens i did study i did played a little bit competitively but then uh, that all stopped uh, at the tender age of i think somewhere around 19. my very last uh, game it was against a simul against grandmaster Ljubomir Ljubovic, which uh, i actually had a one position but managed to lose uh, <laughs> which is i think the story of my life um then I basically didn't play chess actively until uh, until maybe a year and a half ago. And then I started playing and, and then I started decided that I wanted to, uh, you know, my, my aim is to see where this goes. I kind of abandoned chess uh, when I was a teenager and I decided that I'm going to practice a little bit and study and uh, improve and see how far it goes. My dream is to play in title tuesday so we'll see how that goes uh, because you don't have a title yeah i don't have a title no i am i have a i only played three uscf rated games and they have lapsed because of uh you know this uh, so my uscf rating is 1600 you know and that basically means becoming a master at some point but i think i still have ways to go no, but I think you have chances. I mean, it's a Thank realistic you. goal and uh, it's not something that, you know, it's like flying yeah. to the moon or whatever. Now that's right. very realistic. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. That's very greatly appreciated. Um, I am, you know, I'm very, you know, to the extent that somebody who loses 10, 10 games in a row can be happy with someone's game, um, someone's play, I am actually pretty happy uh, most of the games were fairly competitive and I'll have plenty of materials for my best losses on my best losses tomorrow, which is going to be at 8 p.m. New York time. So thank you, Anna, You'll, again. Uh, who will be the next one to play the match with you? Um, I am playing against uh, Thea Slovenian uh, WIM Thea Vidit. Uh, she, Thea, she is one of the Chiquitas and uh, actually you do have a Slovenian connection if I'm not mistaken. You played for Slovenia. I for played time. for the Federation, yeah. But yeah. these girls are uh, 
like much younger than me well i mean not like <laughs> 20 years but still uh in terms of that when i stopped playing for slovenia i i didn't play in the team with them so i okay. uh, even with laura onuk she's maybe the oldest and i did play some games with her in uh, some tournaments uh, but i didn't play with her in the team sure. i think so yeah <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. and right. i think Tay is even younger than laura so so yeah <laughs> So yeah. do you think Anna and Nicola needs to prepare or them? <laughs> I mean, they will not have an easy time. That, that's I can guarantee. <laughs> yeah, I think in this situation, sure. they need to prepare for the match against Nicola. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I didn't check. <laughs> I mean, uh, I Thank didn't you, check Nicola, Nicola's games in the database. I just entered. <laughs> I mean, look, my, my preparation. <laughs> I just entered Nicola's uh, page on chess.com and i saw many bullet games and i thought well in bullet you can play anything so so yeah. let's just uh, no, those I... uh, i'm actually absolutely atrocious in bullet i have a i have an emote that uh, i'm actually gonna pull up in my chat that's called two hours too old too slow uh <laughs> and uh, those are basically for me brainless games that uh, you know I, I use as a distraction so uh, i mean i I'm, as I said, uh, this is one of the reasons why it's uh, five two because that's actually still blitz, but it's a little bit. It's a reasonable time format that allows me to think. So, yeah, five plus two or three plus two. It's. Uh, I, I am. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm not good in bullet. I didn't play so many games, uh, so it's really difficult to play, especially if you don't have uh, practice with uh, bullet. So yeah. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I, I wanted to be uh, to get myself to be a little bit faster, but it looks like playing bullet is actually not the way to do it. But um, anyway. Yeah, according to Vasily Vanchuk and Boris Gelfand, anything shorter than three plus two is not chess, and it's actually damaging your chess. So. Yeah, because you are like uh, getting the uh, reflex. Does this work exist? Yeah. Yeah. You really, you really need uh, to disconnect to, to, from your normal chess in order to uh, enjoy bullet and not to damage your normal chess. Yeah, because it's like, you know, just to make the move. Uh, doesn't matter which one, but to make the move. And, uh, and yeah, then it can also affect improve. your normal chess because you kind of remember physical memory of making the same moves and you will, it, it will, yeah, damage. No, your... also use kind of. Uh, uh, get this uh, habit of superficial look just to make some yeah. normal move in one second and then when you come to the game you don't want to uh, think you just want to make some move and uh, i mean if you play five games you will not get this habit or ten yeah. but if you play hundreds of games uh, then i don't it's know like, well yeah. top guys guys they are doing that and they are still okay in Somehow classical chess in the to, yeah. Yeah, they, they manage disconnect. everything yeah. but yeah. Uh, for many people i think it affects uh, your yeah. place so it's not very advisable also it's very uh, it's quite difficult uh thank you hacks i mean uh if you are lower rated the more lower rated you are the more difficult it's um to play when uh, you don't have much time because you don't have these patterns mm -hmm. i mean we grandmasters we are kind of uh we know Intuition. the plans in some yeah. uh in many of the middle game types of positions of structures of so on so we kind of think like okay we have to trade these pieces we have we are aiming for this pawn structure or, mm -hmm. or we are putting the pieces like this this, this this and that but the person who sees this position for the first time in their life and has no idea you have uh okay you have at least to think and in mm -hmm. uh, bullet or even uh, if uh, blitz is shorter like i don't know three plus two you don't have this time and you are kind of in troubles yeah so bullet can be just uh, some kind of uh, relaxation for just once in a while yeah some people really enjoy it i don't know <laughs> to be very frank with everyone i'm basically trying to or try to play it to improve my uh, mouse skills reflexes oh, okay yeah uh, so i you know my rating there goes up and down by two or three hundred yeah, ELO can. points, depending on whether chess.com decides to add ELO or subtract ELO, or I <laughs> uh, yeah, that was some or, new policy, or I play with an iPad or whatever. So yeah, we all became stronger in one day. Yeah, <laughs> I still, 
yeah, I still didn't make any progress. But the the thing I really care about is uh, you know these longer longer things, longer loading time controls. And I'm just gonna say this for you know I'm probably one of the oldest people here. Uh, the the opportunity that online chess provides for everybody these days is genuinely, truly, absolutely amazing. Uh, let me put it this way: I just played a match with and a match with a with a three-time world champion and twenty-six hundred grandmaster. Okay, uh, it's uh, and had chances uh, and had chances. It's fine. Um, I actually had I had at least one completely won game that I just didn't need to blunder mate and so on and, and so forth. You you made so many troubles that even in the next game. Anna yes. was still calculating the previous one and was trying to understand how to defeat bishop g5. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the right approach, by the way. When, she started uh, I mean, calculating. What yeah, but do you <laughs> do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't do it on your own games. Yeah, when you and play uh, your game, just focus on the one you have right now. I did yes. a mistake, but yeah, I was like, really like bishop g5. I think Sean played it uh not so long also in some blitz game but i was a bit uh, confused and i forgot about it Lucia, yeah, Jeff, just to clarify just to clarify this uh <laughs> this is the second match i lost out of 13. in terms of matches i'm 11 and 2. all right so <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing great <laughs> uh i i'll i'll be more than happy to continue at 11 and 2 uh, you know, for a, for a very long time. So yeah, I'm, I'm, and very honestly, uh, just to say this, I had to play it for a factory and a group project team for a, for a year to get the game against Grandmaster Ljubovic in a 20, 20 I see, a simul. Here I played with a, a three-time world champion online and not one game, but 10 games and not a simul, but one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So, and everyone is jealous here, by the way. Yeah, uh, you know, so, and honestly, uh, being adopted is a part of the learning process. It's fine. I, I mean, if if nothing else, we should all learn from Alexandra Bottas. How many times did Alexandra get adopted? I, I, I don't, I, I probably... And how many times she was, she, she adopted others? So it also yeah, comes both I, ways. I think You know yeah, how so, to approach it as well yeah, after so you did it's, get adopted. It's fine. It's all good. And I'm very grateful for Anna for agreeing to do this. So thank you. Yeah, and thank you too. Yeah, thank you, Anna. And mm. here is so is a gambler gambling coming. So but is... also we 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 are speaking about ourselves. But uh, let's speak also about Maria. Maria, thank you so much. The voice behind the scenes uh, on my <laughs> channel that kept right. kept chat asking who is talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks yeah. for commentary. I am sure that it was great, and yeah. many people could understand uh, and you the ideas. <laughs> uh, I, but could you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh. I, you could hear me. <laughs> no, that was the idea. And uh, I was lowering your voice sometimes, but uh, it was nice that sometimes I actually was coming to the same idea that you are uh, already uh, talking about, but I'm coming to a different way and it felt kind of yeah, redeeming. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. Thanks. Thanks so but much. It was really interesting. Yeah. Your... Yeah how you break down every uh, idea and positional idea, not just one move, but like the whole idea is, uh, is amazing. Yeah. I might rewatch my, uh, my own word for the very first time. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, so uh, it's a uh, reason, uh, Maria's uh, meaning, uh, Anna still have her evening to go and I'm quite sure uh, Anna doesn't necessarily care to watch my, um, my attempt of uh, uh, you see, uh, my since I lost the match, I have a dare, Anna. And uh, for people, yeah, so currently in Nicola is number one in the I have channel. been a number one, and I have more than two million Loba coins, which is a, a fairly valuable currency of this. How many photographs can I buy with two million Loba coins? <laughs> I don't know, but you all, I already owe you like 50 photos. That's fine. So it's the photos are, <laughs> let's say, photos are between 20 and 30, so I can probably get 100 photos, right? So it's 
it's hundred photos. I might uh, increase the prices, guys. So, <laughs> so take your chance yeah. and redeem now because uh, with the guys like Nikola and Maprail, I have to increase the prices. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Anna, uh, you know, Anna will have Anna will be featured on plenty of other matches organized by Open Field Media. We are working on several, and I'm very grateful for her for agreeing to do this and being a good sport about it. So I'm I'm not grateful because she really didn't play that much of the prep I had with Danya, but that's <laughs> that's that's fine. And thank you so <laughs> something was missed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dania actually, no, uh, about, f there were, uh, in all honesty, uh, in about uh, five games, uh, it was, there was a lot of prep. Um, so, uh, we didn't expect that you're going to take on D5 in Scandinavian, so that wasn't prepped. We expected you to play Knight F6, oh, so that was extensively. Oh, that so was extensively you literally so prepared for every line I played, yeah? Uh, I was amazed. Uh, I was a professional player and I've never had so much prep as Nicola for one adoption match. Yeah, well, yes, I had. Uh, but this paid off, actually. Nicola's preparation was Yeah, I did. Uh, I amazing. definitely had chances. But the funny part is the best game was actually the game that wasn't prepared for playing on at all. It was, it was prepared for Chiu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one with the rook. Uh, yeah. rook, 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 rook. No, rook. You avoided that. Why? If, if you were I like a... it, I avoided Chiu twice. I actually drew the first game and then uh, I think yeah, so I won game seven. Go. <laughs> necessary. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. So, uh, so why don't we do this? Uh, Anna, you don't, you're not going to stream uh, much any longer or... Or do you want to stay for my gambling attempt? Or if you want to stop now, we can we can stop now, and I can raid Maria, join her. Actually, I think people want to see me on cam. So why don't I do it just now and see what happens? Yeah, I just made uh, the gambling. Uh, everything right. is coming to the channel, Very so we'll, we'll see the result. And yeah, right. this might be the last time time Nikola is on top. So I am sending. No, it's not. I already gained. I already <laughs> got bankrupt paid. twice. He All right. So guys, you need to look the chat in the chat in order to see what's so happening. So guys, uh, join Maria's channel. I'm gonna give you a shout out. I mean, I'm gonna actually do this on my laptop. Um, let's see. Uh, so. So shout out to PhotoChess. All right. I so. do have the chat, yeah. but I'm not sure if you guys can. Okay. So you guys have, and so I'm actually going to join. I'm going to do it on my laptop. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's a very big thing. Two million. Two million is I on the line. Two million and fifty thousand. All right. So let's see. Gamble. Let's see. Hey, Anna Maya. Hi. All right. So let's see how one loses two million lava coins. Loses Gamble or does lose? Very That's good. a historical moment. That's fine. Let's see what happens. Oh no! And I 39. got bankrupt. All right, very good. Easy come, easy go. I am now officially. It wasn't at that easy. Don't zero. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> no, it wasn't, but that's fine. Ouch. All right, guys. So I'm officially bankrupt. Oh, oh, and unfortunately, I also by losing this, I managed to lose uh, twenty-five eleven coins. So yeah. All right. Ah, don't worry, guys. I'll be back on top in um, in no time. It's fine. All right. Very good. Thanks. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Anna. I, uh, Anna, are you going to... Uh, Maria, who is continuing to stream? So uh, I can read, read you. I know you're going for a partner and we. Uh, yes, I'm ha you. happy to, to help you. Okay. And yeah. Uh, I'll stay so. some time to ask. Maybe there were some questions from the audience. <laughs> yeah, okay. and your audience uh, launched Very a good. full uh, level five hype train. So that was amazing, guys. Lot oh, of thank you so much. I think All I right. missed a lot. And I'm do <laughs> yeah, points, you really need to so catch up. That it says. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have 100 Lova coins. I think I'm already getting donations. <laughs> thank you, guys. That's very greatly appreciated. Five minutes it. later, Nicola is on 3 million. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Actually, what was very. F yeah. Anyway. All right. So. <laughs> 
Thank okay. you guys again. I'm going to end the thing. I'm going to stay on. I actually want to analyze a couple of games. And uh, if you don't mind staying with me very briefly, and then we'll go, we'll go for it. We'll go from there. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, thank I'm going to raid you in three minutes. Okay. Thank um, you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Nicola. Guys, you both Have are great. Nice. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Day. guys. And thank you, Maria. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's keep on working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of work to do. All right, guys, so I have ended that meeting. I am actually going to switch real quick to Nicola Learns Chess. And yeah, now let me just, since, uh, oops, so let's see. I'm going to hide this. Just bear with me. This was, Danya is not with us. And I'm going to start a new meeting. And let me just join this and you guys can hear me and let's adjust the camera and I'm going to go here and we're going to do this and we're going to cause, we're going to call this post match analysis. All right. So let me let me just adjust this real quick and bear with me. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go first adjust this and let me adjust the camera so you guys can actually see me. And this doesn't need to be here. And here I am. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, no, not here, go down. Okay. Well, uh, in all honesty, I, while I obviously I'm not happy about being adopted, uh, I don't think this was a bad match in many ways. Uh, I think uh, I had one huge chance that I managed to miss. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys this that game very soon. Just let me expand this a little bit. All right. Blah, blah. Let's do this. All right. So just, sorry guys, just give me one second while I'm doing this. And we're going to change this. All right, so first, Anna, Anna is a great lady and she's a great champion and it's an honor for me to be in the same, on the same board with her, but I just wanna grab an opportunity and take a quick look at, at one uh, particular game where I felt that I had a pretty good chances. So let's take a look. Oh, come on, adjust yourself. Okay, all right. All right, so let's see here. All right, blah, blah. Du, 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 du. All right, so here is the analysis board uh, and I am going to just share a few things here with, with you guys, if you don't mind. Let's uh, load, uh, okay, let's kill this, cancel. Uh, yeah, we need to leave it and uh, let's see here. Okay, I need to go, need to close this. And let's go into archive. All right, so interesting thing is that when you look at these analysis boards, I actually want to show you guys the very first game because I kind of felt that that was um, one that I played really well. All right, so let me just drop this and let me expand this a little bit. Oops.
Okay, thank you Kirby for the friend request. All right, so here is, um, you know, so here is a very quick uh, first game. I just want to take a quick look. Uh, it was basically, if you look closer, it was, I, I don't want this. So basically this was classical variation of Sicilian. Frankly, I didn't want to play, uh, you know, the, the normal, the, the, the normal line that then I preferred in the first game. And, you know, all of this is actually perfectly fine. And I'm, you know, this is more or less book. And I was actually very happy with my position. Computer doesn't like here the h4. I needed to play knight d5 and then king b1 was, was in accuracy. I was a little worried, honestly, if I should have probably, yeah, computer wants me to play a3 here. But playing a3 was a little concerning because I was really concerned about bishop b3 and then white's play here on the line oh and thank you maria for the raid party of 89 i'm taking a quick look of a couple of couple of games um basically we are starting now with the game one and i'm trying to see what was wrong here king b1 uh, okay that was inaccuracy d5 is the best move I shouldn't have taken on d5. Okay, I actually was not sure about it. I basically needed to kick the kick the knight. Okay, so takes takes. Uh, yeah, and here I kind of started losing track. But uh, this queen c2 was actually a pretty major blunder. And uh, yeah, I should have taken on queen c2. Yeah, this is one of those situations in which, uh, you know, having, uh, you know, in which having uh, a little bit more time would have probably be beneficial. Uh, and yeah, rook d7. Thank you, Dran. Thank you for the follow. Very greatly appreciate it. Rook d2, this. I was under the impression that after I play bishop c5 that I'm going to have, uh, you know, basically a rook and a, a piece plus a pretty tricky king there, but that's not how it played up. Uh, this probably wasn't lost for me. Yeah, I thank you for the trainer. I actually, the, when I do it on stream, I usually do, uh, it, the engine takes forever for no longer death. I may do it and may do. You see, I have it here on this the full analysis depth. I'll make it 20. It's it's a trade-off between speed and uh, uh, you know and uh, whatever. So anyway, so I prefer to actually keep it relatively low. Okay, so this uh, honestly, I had my chances in this game. I played reasonably well. Uh, I, I'm actually very happy that this is the best moves. I should have, uh, this was basically a blunder. And then basically I allowed her knight to gobble all my pawns, which was unfortunately not, uh, not a good thing. Uh, I had my chances in this, but this there was no way I am going to, you know, outplay uh, 2600 Grandmaster in this position. There was just, you know, that that would be too optimistic. All right, so um, yeah, and honestly, the rest doesn't even matter. Interestingly enough, uh, Anna actually allow me some chances here. So I needed to play King G5, okay. And, oh, all right, so this was, yeah, the problem is I already had 10 seconds, didn't have time, and very frankly, uh, my ability to, in these, uh, in these uh, very tricky end games is not where it should be, which is why Daniel and I actually spent time looking at look end games. Uh, all right, and anyway, and I'm basically here completely lost. Okay, uh, so, you know, it's, uh, yeah, that's, yeah forget about playing this. All right. But 
in all frankness and honesty, I think I handled the, the opening fairly well. Uh, if I have found a queen c2 here, I would be able to win. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, yeah, this was, this was a missed opportunity. Uh, I have one more game that I want to show you guys, if you bear with me. And uh, if you look closer at Anna's accuracy, it's 98.3, 97.3. Uh, you know, I'm obviously, oh, look here, at my accuracy. And this is basically the game I should have won. This is game five. Yeah, I basically, I, I messed this up. It was just me being stupid. Uh, I'm actually a little bit upset upset about this because she played straight into my preparation. The problem is that, uh, my, you know, I should have, you know, she, yeah. Oh, Anna, thank you. Thank you for the huge raid with the party of 218. That's very nice of you, Anna. Thank you so much. That's very greatly appreciated. For the Raiders, welcome to my channel. We are just doing a quick uh, walkthrough through a couple of games that I played against Anna and I'm trying to look at the, some opportunities I had. Uh, this is a little bit of a post-match post -match analysis. This is game five, which honestly, this is a completely one position and this is theoretical prep. To be very honest with you guys, I, I don't know how to say this, but you know, choking in this position is probably going to bother me more than anything else because you know queen c5 all i need to do here is you know i was looking and playing uh, bishop f oh, sorry into playing hey pinoski thank you for the follow that's very greatly appreciated thank you uh bishop f7 or even better yet you know just play king h1 it's a safe move and uh, that basically eliminates uh, everything this bishop Thank you, Chess on Earth. Thank you to the sub. That's very greatly appreciated. Um, and thank you, Kirby111, for gifting a sub. You know, what I could have done is probably just, uh, you know, the computer line is bishop f7, rook f2. I could have just played a human move and, uh, you know, play king h1. And then I am basically, the, this king is completely open this is this is danger this is in danger this rook is questionable where it's go this pawn is threatened between a rook uh, queen and uh, and the bishop there is a mating net and i should have you truly should have won this game ha ah, thank you anna that's very greatly appreciated thank you so much uh, and uh, yeah and I'm actually going to personally gift uh, Anna a sub in my channel. And uh, if anybody objects, uh, if which objects, they're welcome to object to it. Thank you for joining the stream and thank you for being here. I am. Uh, so, yeah, this was, uh, this was probably the biggest, uh, this was probably the biggest missed opportunities for, um, what missed bigger the opportunity of this match and obviously what they missed was uh you know i should have i just took i missed uh, knight f3 that that basically ends in a mate and i looked and i basically choked and let me put it this way this is not the first time i'm choking this is not the first time i'm bl blundering a simple tactics um, i actually need to work on it uh, uh to to improve but it's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate uh, curse of, uh, uh, you know, of a relatively old and relatively weak player. Anyway, so going into back into the archive of the matches, I actually really, you see, I want to, let me see if I remember the games. So we looked at the game one, that was a missed opportunity. I kind of, uh, the, yes, yeah, exactly, Chess on Earth, that's, uh, that's exactly right, it is what it is. Uh, I am going to take a quick look at this game, which was, uh, un let me, actually, you know what, guys, I, if you don't mind, st stick with me. I actually want to take a quick peek at all of these games, 
just uh, for uh, fig I, I can. Uh, so let's see, we played e4. And I have to give uh, credit to, to Dania. Dania's uh, preparation was absolutely brilliant. He's a genius. And all, all those, so this was d3, bishop c5, knight c3, a6. This was all fine. Uh, yeah, this was actually a very well handled, the, you know, this. And let me take a quick look. Hey, thank you, Alon, for gifting a, one, a tier one sub to Anamaya. That's very greatly appreciated. So I'm just going to take a quick peek here for so bishop b1. All right, but the e5. I actually contested this line uh, in uh, with uh, Karina Bratsumova a little bit, and I'm reasonably familiar with this bishop a7 thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, so yeah, Anamaya and I had a match and uh, the, you know what, just we were playing the second game, uh, chess.com service went down, unfortunately. So yeah. Okay, so G6 is here considered, well, that's kind of the only move. And you know, I, ha I felt and I still feel that I didn't handle this position that badly. Even here, uh, you know, I am still within, uh, uh, no, I'm really not within strict striking distance here, but this is not, you know, difference between uh, playing against a 2600 Grandmaster like Anna Muzicic is that you really do not have, uh, you know, do not, uh, you don't have that many chances. And as I said, she feels, she's like Anaconda. This is, yeah and I, I'm dead here. Okay, so let me look here. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to keep you guys and watch all these games. I think my best chances were in the games that, oh, sorry guys, bad, uh, bad click. Uh, I had one game that I definitely had, had a chance and I'm going to show you this one. Now let's look at the analysis. Uh, okay. So, uh, so this was, uh, and it's very interesting that uh, uh, Dina played this against me uh, in, uh, in our match, which was, I think, which was last week. So I kind of knew what to expect. And I kind of felt that this was another game that I, that I was actually perfectly fine. This was basically, uh, you know, whether this is King is the attack, it really isn't. I was reasonably familiar with this line. Thank you, Kirby, for all the subs. And guys, thank you, Ankro, and thank you all you guys for this huge level of support today. That, that really means a lot. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I can't thank you more. And thank you, Kirby, for all gifted tier one subs. I, uh, I, I'm going to get you a VIP badge. Unfortunately, I'm out of slots, so I can't do this online, but I'm, I'm going to do it off, uh, off, uh, uh, off stream. So thank you. All right. Uh, you see, I actually looked at these positions when I was analyzing my games uh, against Dina and the strategy for white here in this position is basically to, uh, you know, to put the knight somewhere and usually on e2, which is what, what basically I think even happened in the game. Yeah, here. And to put the king on uh, castle and put the king on h2, which is surprisingly robust position, and then push f4 and kind of attack on, on f5. Uh, I kind of desperately tried to prevent it which is why I ended up playing this queen c8, which computer doesn't really like or consider some others move to be better, but I think that was the right plan. Uh, thank you, Chess on Earth. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the support and all the gifted subs. That's, that's hugely appreciated and I'm very grateful. Oh yes, Theo, thank you for being here. Let me, let me hydrate. That's, I, I need to. So, Oh, thank you, Latino Blonde, for the gifted five gifted subs. That's very greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, 
a6 that's uh, moving understood in this position i wasn't worried about bishop g5 because uh, very frankly i already expected to play uh, play knight g8 knight g8 is basically a borrow from the briar spanish in other words we are repositioning the knight to a better to a better f uh, position in other words from f6 to e7 and then we are threatening to play some sort of an f5 uh, f, uh, and so on and so forth and so knight d5 f6 and bishop e3 knight e7 all surprisingly best moves thank uh, i'm actually very happy to see that d4 bishop a7 and c3 and you know i judge this position to be cramped but not but uh, you know it's a compact position that's ready to be sprung and i didn't know this i you know this battery here kind of obstructs castling on the white's part and if white plays h4 which is actually one of the candidate moves it creates, uh, you know, this complex uh, then becomes a little bit weak and also makes f4 a little bit harder to play. So I frankly at this point was expecting Anna to play on, uh, to castle long. And this is, this is actually a bad move. Thank you, White Lightning. Thank you for the follow. That's very greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And I expected, very frankly, to try to conduct some attack using these light squares on the queen side and this bishop, which is why I didn't take on e2. Um, so going back to h8 to basically put the knight on, uh, on f7. And believe it, I'm very happy to see that the computer actually likes that uh, particular maneuver. So this... Uh, Thank you, Kirby. That means a lot. Thank you, my friend. That's very greatly appreciated. So knight f7, you know, this knight basically went from f6 to g8 to e7 to g6 to h8 to f7. So it was a pretty busy horse, but uh, I don't really, you know, and here I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to be very frank with you guys. I'm very proud of this game. Uh, and the reason I'm proud of this game is uh, obviously the game five in which Anna walked into my prep was a game I should have won. Uh, the, the thing here is, yes, Kirby, as soon as I'm done with the stream, I'll, uh, I'll rearrange some, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out to add more VIP slots and you'll be a VIP. Thank you. Uh, and feel free to comment in uh, in the in the, in the chat, um, and you are that's very greatly appreciated. All right, so uh, you know I'm here and I'm basically better uh, and basically significantly better than uh, you know a former world three-time world champion, and uh, you know and this is after you know and I'm here kind of dropping dropping the ball. I shouldn't have exchanged the bishop on f1. But I certainly had my chances in in this position, and I think I handled this position very well. I shouldn't take it on d4. What is what does computer want me to do? It wanted me to play knight e5. Oh, knight e5, and then go to knight c4, and actually that forces the knight exchange. Okay, so this is a game that I'm actually going to spend some time tomorrow on my best losses. This is. For all intents and purposes, a game that even in the ending was basically, uh, you know, better for me. And I misjudged this position. I didn't think I was actually better here. Uh, but, you know, I'll take this. And this is actually, you know, in the end of the match, I think I, I flagged here. Uh, I actually like this game the most of all the games I have. I, I, have see, I have played in this match because I'm here, you know, doing a positional struggle with somebody like Anna Muzichuk. So I'm very happy about it. Uh, let me, I'm going to take a quick look at one more game, if you guys don't mind. So, and hey, thank you. This was 
we did the oh thank you Anamaya for all the gifted subs that's very greatly appreciated thank you so much Anamaya and uh, let me give a quick shout out to Anamaya in my chat hold on Oop, oh, um, let me do it in here oops all right so please if you don't follow Anama is a fellow streamer and a friend of the channel and she's a, she's a great lady so give her a thing so yeah yeah feed the trainer that's kind of what I was trying to do I was uh, you know I was basically playing completely wabank I have nothing to lose in these matches and I'm gonna show you one more game and I think this is the game I would like to see or is this the one uh yeah it's this one let's see here oh come on nicola you should be able to do this okay um no not this one let's look let's take a quick look at uh this game and let's analyze it okay all right so e4 and e5 takes takes knight bishop b5 a6 this is incidentally all theory and i actually was here start i remember here trying to figure out oops sorry uh trying to figure out whether i want to play this as a Hugh lopez or some sort of uh, italian thing in other words i have a choice here and i played it played both of these it's uh, d6 or b5 or it's basically the big uh, you know after d3 i'm sorry uh, after d3 you have a choice whether you're going to play this as a Rio lopez or you're going to play it is as a semi-italian uh position with you know within and try with that would be italian with bishop e7 i played them both but i did you know after some thought i decided to play this and that and i then I think I reasonably well remembered the lines that I have that are played and Kirby thank you for all the gifted subs thank you so much and rook a2 and knight c6 bishop g5 bishop g4 which is the best move or is it the best move no it wants me to play okay whatever uh, bishop d2 bishop f6 I would love to, to obviously do the move do the moves uh, you know the rip draw by repetition haha -ha. so rook b1 is actually not theory theory is rook e1 here okay ninety four takes takes and here i have transitioned in this particular pawn structure and i play this against karina abratsumova international master uh, and uh, i think at least one game i ended up having a one position uh knight g3 knight d7 a4 this is all you know it's you know honestly black is holding the position here and thanks to feed, feed the trainer i don't think these are bad lines uh, okay takes takes and bishop b5 Rook a1 is a very tricky move. That's a general grandmaster level move. I didn't see that move as I was looking, and that's okay. Rook a2 is obviously the only move. Yeah, thank you, simply swindling. I should have won that game. I'm 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 probably gonna be salty later about that game. That was my opportunity to have a miniature against uh, against Anna, but uh, whatever anyway so this is in other words i am here kind of starting to lose fred i shouldn't have let the knight on d5 and once i got the light on d5 i am basically dead okay so all right and this end game is not not good for me i should have played rook 3 thank you amygdala 411 that's very greatly appreciated thank you f3 yeah knight f4 is a uh, blunder i probably had only a couple of seconds here 
So yeah, thanks with the trainer. I actually love Hundred Years of Solitude, and uh, I don't know if you if you guys actually know this, but I have a PhD in literature, and Latin American magic realism is one of my novelistic favorites. I love Hundred Years of Solitude. So Hundred Years of Sol Saltiness, yes. Anyway, so yeah, I love that book too. Simply swindling. All right, so let me look at one more game. Uh, and I can I need to very frankly to yeah obviously I'm not going to show you this game which Anna killed me or maybe I should maybe I should I think it's fair I think I was uh, very, you know it's a uh, it's it took me uh, uh, you know the the game number five I should have won and uh, you know I sh probably took me a while to recover but you know let since I've shown all the games in which I played well. Let me show you a game in which I just uh, messed this up wholeheartedly. Uh, and, you know, let, this was me trying to play fried liver, which I'm reasonably familiar. And I actually no theory here. The, the theory here is knight f3. And here, uh, you know, uh, the best move is... Actually, the book move is not knight d6. The best move is knight f4, and then... A, white is supposed to play bishop f1 but unfortunately i was out of the book uh you know um you know yeah so this and i instead of playing i should have let her take on d3 and just uh, started to develop let me see what computer says i'm sorry let me look hey chess melissa thank you i well, I did get adopted. I have a, I, I did get lost the match against uh, uh, Anna Muzichuk, which I frankly got to lose. But I certainly had uh, more than more chances that I could hope, hope to have, including one game in which was I was completely won and I managed to blunder a very simple mate that I really shouldn't have. But uh, oh well, it, it is what it is. Uh, uh, Anna is the strongest player I play faced in these matches, and you know what? My my score is eleven two in these matches, so I have, I can only benefit for these matches. All right, so I honestly didn't see knight g two in this position. Uh, oh yeah, she played e four, and then this was just stupid. I needed to play any one knight e one, which um, would have apparently, you know. Hmm. Would have the, would have held the position. I was only looking here at Queen G five, and I really wasn't that afraid of it. So I didn't see Knight G two as an option. So I played Knight D four, which is a huge blunder. And I was under the impression that if after Knight G five, you know, I I I can hold here if I play g3 and so on and so forth, and then I'm I'm actually better. That's the line I calculated. But of course, my first candidate move was a blunder. So after knight g2, I'm basically here dead. And this, uh, frankly, I should have resigned this sooner. I just didn't want to resign after, before the 20th, uh, with the 20th move. And incidentally, Anna is not, is the GM. She's a 2600 GM. So, yeah. Uh, simply swindling to answer that question, I uh, I own an IT consulting company. I have uh, my work, my occupation. I'm a, I have a, a Cisco CCI certification. That's my uh, that is my professional degree in in the field that I'm actually do professionally. I don't. Uh, literature helped me develop my brain. It helps me when I discuss talk to clients uh, and so on and so forth but it's not really part of what I do for a living so anyway all right so oh bishop g1 is the best move I'm so happy anyway there is really nothing here to watch I you know I, I kind of wanted this to last longer than 20 moves I owed Anna an embarrassing loss and uh, there it is it's about as embarrassing as it gets okay um Anyway, so uh, just a couple of uh, couple of announcements. Uh, I am going to I'm 
yes yes kirby no worries i won't forget you will have it within within uh 20 minutes of me ending the stream uh you have you have my promise um so actually you know what i'm gonna do that right now just bear with me i just uh, to be very frank with you guys yeah i don't yeah i don't know how to do it so let me see here hold on uh, ba, 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 here community uh, roles manager okay so what we're gonna do is we are gonna okay and we're gonna get uh kirby is gonna be a vip right now just uh, bear with me okay so there you go you certainly deserve the diamond my friend uh -huh. that's me no 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 oh come on uh -huh. no i can mod no all right so what is this why is this not allowing me to do this just bear with me I'm gonna. I'm, I really want to do this because uh, Kirby certainly deserved it. Okay. Uh, okay. Just give me a second. Community followers list. Roles manager. Uh, roles. Let's see. Is, uh, Okay, all right, add new. Okay, Kirby 111, and here is VIP. And you, if you refresh my friend, you should be able to see. And I'm gonna do the same thing for Anna. Okay that's done thank you kirby congratulations on your on your diamond and let's go here channel all right very good so thank you guys all right very good oops so, sorry thank you guys uh all right let's just do one more thing here oh thank oh my god anna thank you so much for the for the ten, 10 subs i don't uh, that's that's so greatly appreciated it it's so it's so nice of you that's that's very sweet and anna is uh, also anna is also an vip in my channel thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thanks so much first thank you for all these 10 games that's uh, you know for a player like me that's a dream come true to play this and thank you it was it was an honor to to play with you and thank you so much all right uh again no thank you please you are uh, you you are a lady you're a great player and you are you're a future world champion uh in classical that's you know you're already three times world champion and you will be a classical world champion be uh in a in a year or two i am i'm actually quite confident so thank you um anyway all right guys so i am uh, going to we need, i'm going to end the stream now this was a very this was a very amazing event i am actually very happy very happy with uh, with everything uh, you know and honestly being adopted is just a uh, part and parcel of doing this uh so the question i have is we need we should send a raid to someone so let me see who is uh let me see who is streaming okay all right so you know i haven't raided let's see uh i think international master eric rosen is streaming and he's streaming chess uh so i'm gonna send you to uh international master eric rosen um 
and say hello for me. I, he raided me a couple of times. I don't think I've ever raided him before. So I'm starting the raid. A uh, couple of program announcements. Uh, tomorrow at eight, I'm having a, I'm having a, a, my best losses. Um, Tuesday at five, I'm having my lesson with uh, Anna Rudolph, the one and only legend. Then I'm probably going to have some couple of more streams with Danya. And then on Sunday, I'm place, uh, facing WIM Thea Vidic of Chiquitas in another, uh, in another adoption match. Thank you, guys. Sending, sending you over to Eric Rosen. And enjoy the rest of your week.